Are we live? Are we live? We are live. Hey, yo, what is up, everybody? What is going on? I hope y'all can hear me. I can barely hear myself. There I am. What is up, everybody? What's going on? It's your girl, Jay. Welcome to my channel. It is Tuesday night, and we are live, and I see the comments are already popping. Um, welcome, everyone, to the show tonight. I'm, I'm super excited. You already know why. We're going to get into it. Um, you can already tell from uh, the cover art. You already know what we're talking about. We're talking about South Carolina, University of South Carolina, Lina, the Lady Game Cox come away with the win, undefeated, 38-0. and 0. Just phenomenal performances from some of our, most of our team. This whole tournament was dope, but uh, I'm so excited to uh, talk about it. I can't wait to get in there. But let me jump to these comments because I see y'all been in here early. Groovy as always. I can always count on Groovy to be the very first comment. What is up, Groovy? I don't know if Groovy's in here now. My guy, RC. Let's see. RC says, first did after the game. First thing I did after the game on my channel was tip my cap to Don. Yes, you did. I saw that video. Um, I've been saying congrats to uh, South Carolina fans online. The two I know personally, I'm happy for y'all. I'd rather lose to you guys than um, LSU anytime. <laughs> Well, I hope, uh, RC, that, I mean, I know how you felt last year um, in that game. So I hope you feel differently about South Carolina than you do um, LSU and then and that you feel uh, you don't have, you don't have anything to feel bad about, first of all, because, I mean, I, I don't know about Iowa. I know they're probably going to be working on some things, but I mean, your girl is on to bigger and better things. So you don't have anything to worry about or hang your hat on. Also, RC says, Iowa fans tried to convince me we would win the game deep down inside. I didn't see us beating South Carolina. You're too deep, too big, too strong. Pause. <laughs> and Caitlin is great. Uh, we get fighters, but not enough firepower. That is correct. I agree with you there and thank you know i've been i've been hearing a lot online seeing a lot online um the haters out there and like just i i don't know <laughs> like i understand when you lose you feel a certain kind of way but it's just been like they just negating all of south carolina everything they've done all year they act like it was a fluke that they won um, so I don't get that, but thank you, RC, for being one of the stand up Iowa fans. Um, RC says again, congrats. Don deserved it. I think my whole team deserved it. Uh, this is probably an SC celebration today. It will be. Yes, it will. And a lot of Iowa perspective isn't needed. I'll be watching from the shadows. <laughs> Enjoy that title. Gosh, my Clark came so close. She did. She did. I'm going to get through the comments and, and I, I have some I have um, some stuff for you, um, RC, um, my perspective. Vernon says we will never hear about the Iowa Hawkeyes women's basketball program ever again. Ouch. Come on, Vernon. <laughs> CC was their last uh, chance for national prominence. South Carolina rules the roots now and we shall reign supreme. That is true. That is true. Uh, South Carolina. We only lost two players. Um, we're only going to lose two players, which is uh, Camilla Cardoso, who's going to the draft, and um, Sakima Walker, who I'm not really sure where she's going, but I know she's not coming back to play for South Carolina. So, I mean, the rest of our team is locked and loaded, and we're getting the, the new freshman coming in, the number two recruit um, coming in. So, I mean, we... I think we're gonna be all right. I think we got. I think we got a run in us. Russell says, "Good evening, good evening, Russell." Russells, Russell, what is up? RC says, "Funny story. I plan to talk Iowa Haw Hawkeyes women's basketball most of the off season. I'm in. I'm in this this far. That's good. Rep your team. Rep your team. You know how long I held on to the LA Sparks through all those times where um, we were losing to Houston." And then we only won two after Houston. And then it was just, we weren't really, it wasn't until Candace came that 
uh, we got our, our next championship. But, you know, hold on strong to your team. Robert says, what up? How are you? Or how are you? I'm good. I'm good, Robert. Thanks for, for being here. I appreciate it. Robbie says, hey, y'all. What up, Robbie? Thank you for being here. Um, RC says, I meant in for this duration. Okay. Okay. That's cool, too. Um, Jermaine says, hello, Jermaine. Welcome to the, the show tonight. That transfer portal going crazy. Yes, it is. I'm going to talk a little bit about that. I don't have everybody that is, that's in the transfer portal, portal, but last I heard it was close to a thousand, a thousand young women trying to transfer somewhere. Um, but I have a few that I'm going to talk about tonight. Keisha says, hello, everyone. Hello, Keisha. Welcome to the live. Jermaine says, Gamecock Nation, we blessed. Yes, we up. Yes, we are. All the way up, I feel blessed. Robert says, um, I watched South Carolina versus North Carolina State game again and the championship game again. Isn't that wonderful to see? I did not get to watch. I was going to watch the uh, NC State game. I think I watched a little bit of it. Um, and then I watched because I did not even, like when the end of the game happened with South Carolina for the championship game, I was on Seth's talk talk sports live just to scream and holler and yell and celebrate so I missed like seeing what happened the last <laughs> like minute and a half of the game so I went back and watched a little bit of that um I was skimming through the bird and Tarasi show they showed the game so I was looking through but I plan to go back and watch it uh Teresa Webb what is up RC we love you just uh we just like giving you a hard time that is true RC is one of the good guys. Um, I appreciate RC. Even, even when his team, as soon as his team lost, and you know how hard he was riding for his team, he made a post, he tagged me, he tagged Seth, he gave us our congrats, and that's, that's big of him to do that because most people wouldn't, wouldn't do that. Uh, Nolan is in the house. Welcome, Nolan. Good evening, folks. What a weekend of women's basketball hoops. That is, that is correct. Doc is in the house. Everyone is on tonight, but I'm riding with you. Everybody is on tonight. Okay, well, y'all, thank you. I appreciate y'all being here with me. I do appreciate that. Um, 12 Kyle is in my, in, in my house, in the house. What up, 12 Kyle? That's my homie. JSPN, he always calls me that. <laughs> Congrats to the Lady Gamecocks and uh, Coach Don Staley. Hey, boo, that's right. That is, Don Staley is Kyle's uh, college sweetheart. <laughs> Or maybe it was before college. I don't remember when you said that you first had a crush on her, but uh, shout out to Kyle. Uh, Kyra, what is up? Kyra said, yep, what is going on? RC laughs at Teresa. Who, uh, Keisha says, Raven FaceTime Angel, and she threw shade big time. They had a ball. What happened? Tell me what happened. I want to, I, I didn't, I didn't get to see it, but what did, who, who threw shade? Was it Angel or Raven? And what did they say? Teresa says, uh, that's what a true fan does, stick with them through thick and thin. It's hard being supportive of our foot, football team, though. Yeah, South Carolina's football team, I saw. I don't really watch football, but I happened to see a couple of games um, that see, this season, this past season. And, yeah, thank, thank goodness for the basketball teams, right? <laughs> uh, Kyra says, I got Camilla going number two in the draft, if Kurt Miller had anything to say about it. Uh, my opinion also, I think – I think with her size, her ability, someone was pointing out earlier how she's international. She's been playing for Brazil, you know, when she's not playing in school and she's played against these WNBA players already in different tournaments. So she already has, um, already has the experience playing against these type of players um, more so than most college, college kids have. So um, it would be a big deal for them to snatch her up um, at two, but I don't know what they're going to do. Uh, RC says, Jay, you and Teresa Webb need to let us get Tessa Johnson and Fagan. No, 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 no. Get Tessa Johnson and Fagan over here in Iowa. Y'all got um, any more of them Tessas in Malaysia's. Y'all can't have, no, y'all got to leave. Our rookies, that's what they call them, the rookies, um, Tess, Tessa Johnson and Malaysia Fulwali. That's our homegrown people. Let them come over here, stay with us, mature. 
let them let them play ball where they where they want with uh the Don Staley. Cause that's we're not giving up nobody. We're not giving up nobody. <laughs> Especially not not no nobody. Nobody is expendable right now that's on the team. Uh Lawrence says uh we come back to get championship next year, LSU for life. Okay. Lawrence is an LSU fan. Um, shout out to LSU. I love them as well. Um, it's been some changes over there in LSU. We're going to get to in a little bit when we talk about um, the portal. Um, so I'm interested to see what LSU is going to look like uh, next season. RC says, Jay, I'm the Martin Luther King of Iowa. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sandwiched in with a few uh, normal we don't see color Iowa hoop fans. Oh, my gosh. And a bunch of ang angry, closeted races shake my head. Yeah. That cornfield of Iowa out there, you get a mixed, mixed bag of people. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Laughing at uh, RC. Uh, Kyra says, uh, Haley may be looking for a home. That's true. Haley, may, you might get HBL um, in Iowa. RC, what do you think about that? Uh 12 Kyle says, just sliding through before I went to edit my podcast. Congrats to you, Jay, me, and you texted the whole game. I actually stopped texting with my crew. <laughs> LOL, and Don is my high school crush. Yes, Kyle is my basketball buddy. Whenever the games were on this season, uh, he was texting with me back and forth. Um, really, this championship game, we were texting the whole entire game. Like, we're like, hey, Fawali's going to come off that bench and go do this. Uh, Tessa is getting hot. Oh, we need to keep raving on CC. Like, we were just going at it. So, it is really cool to have, uh, I call him a, my basketball buddy, really cool to have someone to talk hoops with in, in real time because not, not all my friends watch, watch these games. So, shout out to him. Uh, RC says, I do not want <laughs> – wait a minute. Wait a minute, RC, Wait. RC says, I do not want Haley Van Lith. I'd rather go, let's go six and 25. What's wrong with that? Then obtain the services of HV Fail. That was your girl earlier this season. Come on, RC. What? You don't want your girl no more? Come on. Lauren says, uh, I see Iowa will not even be in the mix next year. I'm hearing that a lot. Kyra says she looks pro ready. Uh, you're talking about uh, Camilla. Teresa says Lawrence a lot said that a, a lot said that about um, SC2. LOL. Facts. Facts. Uh, Robbie to to uh, Vernon. Robbie says don't be too quick to dismiss Iowa. There are a lot of girls out there that fell in love with Iowa because of CC and can't wait to hear. Sorry, and can't wait to wear a Hawkeyes uni. Bl Bluter will be rebuilding off um, off of that. That's true. I mean, my, I wouldn't say my hope, but I would, it's really going to suck. It is truly and honestly going to suck if Iowa does not retain at least some of that fanfare they had because you're coming to the game. This is the community. They're traveling. They're doing all this stuff, wearing the Iowa shirt. And if you leave just because one one person now, albeit she is, the person, but if you leave and dismiss that team just because CC leaves, then that's 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 not cool. Don't go to support. Don't go to support a team just for one player, especially the the home crowd. Like if that team, if that if that place is empty, I understand they maybe won't have the record sellouts and things like that. But all that support was there for those young ladies, and then for it to disappear because CC is gone they got to do better. Hopefully that's not the case. Um, RC says to Lawrence, uh, we fall a little bit, no doubt about it. I'm also a L or LSU. I'm also a UCLA fan and Purdue is my distant third favorite team. And that's it. What you think about them next year? Ooh, what you think about them? Teresa says, Robbie, I agree. CC, uh, put Iowa on the map. She did put Iowa on the map. I just, I don't know. I just, if you're in Iowa, you're going to the Iowa games, you can't stop going because one person left. I would, you know, I would think, I don't know. Or you shouldn't. Um, RC says to Robbie, up, 
Fung <laughs> Bluter gets on my nerves more on that later. Uh oh. <laughs> There's some trouble in paradise. Oh, hey, y'all. It is 32 people in here. While y'all in here, give me the thumbs up. I am on a mission to hit 500 subs. I think I'm somewhere between 416 and 418. It would be lovely, lovely, lovely if you are not a subscriber and you're watching this and you're enjoying this to go ahead and sub. But I would definitely love to see everyone in here, 33 people. I would love to see 33 likes by now. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Jermaine says, um, I really think HBL heading to Washington. Okay. Uh, spoiled brat says, I actually saw HBL was looking at Iowa. Um, but I think she's going to go more West coast. Okay. That's interesting. Lauren says, Kelly come to LSU. Kelly. Wait, who are you talking about? Deja Kelly. Or are you talking about the coach Kelly that got fired from Tennessee? Let me know. Lawrence. <laughs> Nolan, um, says uh new on my wish list is that rc falls in love with my fever and does live post game shows this season look rc you got an audience rc already said he would he might ditch the aces for iowa which hurts my heart because that's how that's how i met rc i was doing aces coverage and he was he was in here supporting me so it's gonna hurt my heart if rc leaves the aces and goes to iowa but i get it um but yeah you got an audience, um, RC. If you if you give some post game, um, um, live post game shows for Iowa, you got you got an audience there. Um, RC says, "I'm gonna say it now." Coach Bluter gets like one five star commitment and then quits recruiting. Uh, like, come on, lady, get more star recruits. Okay, so she's like a one and done. She finds. I mean, she found a good one. She had a good one. <laughs> I don't know if she felt like she needed more. Honestly, if they had a little bit more firepower on their team, um, they probably really would have um, made a huge splash and might have had a, um, a championship by now. But I haven't been watching the whole time, so I, I can't speak to that a, um, a whole lot. Teresa says, in my honest opinion, HBL just uh, to take advantage of her degree. You said she should just take advantage of her her degree. Her degree. I think. What did she go to school for? She already graduated. I forget what they said she went to school for. But um, Haley trying to get that bag. Like I ain't mad at her for like trying to like get some money together. Uh, she's still a decent player. She's just not that great on um, defense. If she gets to a good team, a good enough program that can help her kind of build her game back up. Um, I think she can make some really good um, NIL money, and that can set her up. I mean, these these kids make a lot of money that can set them up way more than I had access to when I was graduating college. So um, I think she'll be good um, either way. Lawrence says that Deja Kelly is going to be LSU point guard. You think so? I was thinking that, but I don't watch her too much to know – is she quick enough for LSU? Because they like to run and gun, especially now if you got Flage, Michaela Williams, and Nice, nice kind of ruling the team. Um, Poe is pretty fast too. I don't know how Deja is, um, but that would be interesting to see. Joseph says, welcome, sis. Welcome. Welcome, Joseph. Hold on, y'all. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, Robbie. Oh, let me click on it. Robbie says to RC, who can't wait to hear your take on uh, coach Bluter. Why didn't she wear heels against <laughs> South Carolina? <laughs> RC says, Jay, can you promise me that Haley Van Lith is going to wear a Louisville Jersey when she suits up? If so, she can come to Iowa then. Oh my gosh. Darnell, welcome, Darnell. Um, Darnell wants to ask RC, will he still be an Iowa fan? RC says he is. Uh, he was an Iowa fan before Caitlin. He is an Iowa fan after Caitlin. He's he's the right type of fan. I think he's in it. I think he's in it for the long haul. But I'll I'll let him answer. 
Spoil Brat says, wondering where uh, Janiah Barker is going. I know she is in the portal. I was going to bring up that graphic. That's interesting to see. Uh, Rock. RC says to Robbie, I'm going, I'm going to be going in on Bluter this um, off season. The storm is coming. I really like her as a coach and she's awesome, but need to coach, coach them up better and recruit better. Hit the portal. Kyra says it's Iowa. RC is only so much recruiting you can do <laughs> in a cornfield. <laughs> And then how many people, that's true. How many people want to go to Iowa? Like she really is going to have to like build up that team and, and, and really talk, like talk it up and like show these kids the potential because having such a big star be there and now they're not there. And that's really all anybody was concentrating on was, was, uh, her, to get recruits to come there, it may be it may be a challenge. So we'll see how good she is in recruiting. And apparently RC says she's not that good at recruiting. So I don't know what really what they're going to do. Um, I did hear, I don't know, this is rumors, this is rumors. Somebody said, somebody said that, uh, oh, what's, what, I just lost her name. What What's, what's the, the, the second in command on Iowa. Y'all tell me her name. I j it just slipped my mind. I don't know why I'm thinking of Kiki Ariofrin, but that's not even who I'm thinking about. Who is, uh, dang it. I'm going I'm to scroll down because somebody's going to tell me. Who is the second person on Iowa's team that everybody talks about? Not Kate Martin. Not the other one, the little, the black girl. <sighs> I can't think of her name. And I'm so mad. <laughs> Yes, Hannah Stokey. Somebody said on that Hannah is is going to transfer, is going to go to the portal. What would you do? What would you do with that, RC? God, sometimes my mind be gone, y'all. I'm so sorry. Uh, RC says to Darnell Baylor, I'm um, I'm true to this, not new to this. About Iowa, RC says to Kyra. <clears throat> you write ain't nothing in Iowa except for cornfields, cops, and cows. <laughs> the triple C. Darnell says, are we going to sit up here and forget Raven locked down Rivers uh, to 11, five points and lock down CC in the second half? Ray led the team defensively. I ain't even got there yet, but yes, we're going to talk about that. Ray led the team defensively to victory in the final four to the Natty. Yes. I'm just going through the comments right now. I haven't even gotten into the game yet, but yes, yes. Raven did her big one. When I tell y'all, I was so not afraid, but not afraid. I was concerned that I was going to get on this live and start tearing up again because <laughs> ever since the championship has happened and I watched those clips and I was watching it on TV and then I go to YouTube or I go to TikTok and see all these clips about Raven and all the good stuff she's been doing during this tourney and in the way she played uh, this championship game, it literally brings tears to my eyes because a year ago, that girl was a meme. Like a year ago, she wanted to quit basketball. She was depressed because she was made fun of the whole time. And for her to have this turnaround and now everything you see about Raven is just about her defense and, and you see her smiling and jumping around and celebrating, like... I'm good now. I was worried. I was like, I have to get these tears out now because I'm not going to get on national internet and start crying. <laughs> but it was, it's been touching my heart, but we're going to get into the game and everything. Um, as soon as I can get through most of these, um, comments, Robbie says to RC Hawkeyes and Caitlin, I heard, Oh, I keep reading the whole, the whole name. Sorry. Robbie says to RC, I heard on the big East wire that Lucy Olson is leaving Villanova she be a uh, perfect fit at Iowa. She was the third leading scorer in the country. Hmm. Spoil Brat says, well, Iowa has like five people leaving, not just CC. So I expect their rates to go down. Yeah. I mean, it's going to go down. I'm just saying like when I was in college, we all still went to the games and we were the worst. <laughs> we were the worst football team. Literally almost. I don't know if we have the record for NCAA, 
but we had the worst record in football. Like literally ESPN was at our school during our games just to see if we were going to lose again. I think we had lost. I don't even remember now. It's been so long since I've been in college. Uh, was it was it 80 or 60 games? Something, some crazy thing where we had lost all these games well before I had started going there. And um, but we still showed up to the games. We still, you know, packed out the place. And our little community, the little Texas town that we were in, people still came to the games and people came to support. And even our basketball team wasn't that great. But one year we made it to the um to the NCAA tournament one year we got we got uh blown out by I think it was Kentucky real real bad we were the 16th seed we got blown out real bad it was a real quick game um but we still showed up the next year um so I'm just talking about that in that as aspect uh Joseph says how ironic South Carolina started the championship game 37 and 0 um that was also the bench scoring oh you're right that is true. That is true. Hey, y'all, I got 55 people in, in here, y'all. Please give me the thumbs up. That would be so great. That just gets me on the algorithm and gets other people to see me. Please, please, please. I would really, really would appreciate it. Darnell says, are you from Iowa? Where are you from, RC? Where are you from, RC? RC says, hey, 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 now, South Carolina just won the title. Let's talk about how much I love me some Tessa Johnson. <laughs> And yeah, SC won. Um, oh, let's talk about it. He RC says, let's stop talking about Iowa. They lost. That's good. That's great. Let's talk about the winners. And I appreciate that. We're going to get into it. Um, Jermaine Smith says, Deja Kelly, Texas A&M. She went to Duncanville, so it's possible. Oh, I didn't know she went to Duncanville. That's in Dallas, right? Somewhere around Dallas. Lawrence says Haley and Velez, they know they wouldn't start. Deja Kelly, she be the next Barbie on the Bayou. Oh, there's only one, there's only one uh Bayou Barbie. And she's going to the W. <laughs> but I, we'll see what Deja does. Robbie says, my bad, just South Car South Kakalaki talk from here on out. Go Gamecocks. That's right. Spoil Brad says, Monkey said today HVL wanted a fresh start. Oh, I didn't hear her uh I didn't hear her talk about her, but she did say that um, when she got Angel and um, HVL, she said Angel committed to two years and HVL committed to one year. So she didn't know if they would be coming back. She said that at the end of this season and both of them decided not to come back. So they fulfilled their commitment. So it is what it is. Uh, Robbie says HVL got her degree in finance. Okay. Uh, Teresa says, Jay, she married, uh, major in finance. Cool. Thank you. RC says, Jay spot. Nolan, I'm actually going to run a poll to see if I should create a new channel for Caitlin and fever basketball by itself, or I should talk fever on the same channel with my aces. Oh, so you are going to talk about the aces. Okay. Jermaine says it sounds crazy now, but honestly, the only reason CC was at Iowa was because she couldn't get Gino to commit to giving her a spot. Iowa a second chance choice. Uh, Tamika says, J Spot, how the hell are you? Hey, Tamika, welcome to the show. Welcome. I appreciate you being here. Um, all right, y'all. I'm going to get, I'm going to get back to these comments. Because <laughs> y'all know I be having slides, y'all. Okay. And I, 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 uh, I um, enjoy putting my little slides together. So we're going to go ahead if I can remember where I was and get into these slides. So we were talking about earlier the portal. So this is some of the stuff I saw around the league. The portal has opened. So the second person that we know of has left or decided to leave LSU. That's Angelica Velez. Um, believe she was a point guard freshman on LSU, barely got any play time. Um, I'm not surprised to see this happening. I'm, I'm actually expecting probably a couple of more um, players that didn't get any play time to maybe transfer um, from LSU because, I mean, they weren't really given. I mean, I don't know if it, if it was they weren't ready or Kim already had in her mind who was going to play, but um, they. I don't think she – showcased them enough, gave them enough playing time. 
allowed them to have some real game time uh, experience to be able to grow and get better. Um, so it, it, it makes sense that, you know, she would want to leave and go find somewhere else to play. So I, I get that. Also, um, Janiah Barker from Texas A&M is leaving. And it also says she has a do not contact uh, tag. So I don't know what that necessarily means. Maybe she already knows where she's going and where did, where is she going to go is, is a question. Um, I'm interested to see that. Now, I did. I don't know <clears throat> what her reasoning would be for leaving. I do know, after, you know, seeing her. Sorry, seeing her um, um, throughout the tournament and throughout the season. I, is her, I think their coach is Joni Taylor. Don't quote me. I don't, I'm not sure if that's her name or not. But I do know there were several times Joni had to come to her, if that's her name. The coach had to come to her and, like, calm her down and, like, settle her down because she seems so, you know, she's so passionate and fiery, Um when things aren't going her way, she just seemed to like really just get in a funk. And I've seen several times where she has had to take her out of the game and like talk to her on the sideline. So I don't know, maybe there's something going on in AM that, you know, she just feels like she might have a better opportunity going somewhere else. So I wish her all the best. We'll find out. And then of course, Deja Kelly from North Carolina is leaving. A lot of people here are saying that Deja is probably, or, that Deja would be good going to LSU. So I don't know where she's going to go, but um, we shall see. We shall see. Um, Jermaine says, to be real, Deja Kelly would want to stay far away from Malaysia as possible. <laughs> and Raven, <laughs> to be honest. And her and Raven were uh, teammates on uh, the USA basketball team. So that that's crazy. Um Wait a minute. Kevin says, hey, Kevin, welcome to the show. Is Kits going to the portal? Hell no, Kits ain't going to the portal. Are you serious? They love it there. They, I don't, I don't know any, anybody on that team right now that doesn't love playing for Coach Don Staley and love being in that program. They all, they're all saying the same thing, that, yeah, they can go somewhere else and start, but the way that they are playing and the way that they care about each other and the way that they play with each other, that, that gets them wins. They are undefeated. They won the championship. There's no better, better selling point than that. Like Don prepares you for that next level. So it doesn't matter if you're starting or not. Um, you will eventually get your shine because you're working hard to be there. You know, Chloe is starting. Um, she worked really hard to get that starting position. And I know, They've been flip flopping, but I don't think, I don't think that she's too too worried or bothered by that. I mean, I think the the wins and the championship means more um, than what they may get somewhere else. So I I don't think, <laughs> I don't think Chloe is going is going anywhere. Um, if I'm being honest. Uh, what up, MMA Lifestyle? He says, I can see Deja at Stafford. Okay, okay. Um, wait a minute. He also says Deja and HBL might need to go to USC. Y'all trying to make some super teams. That's what y'all trying to do. I don't know about HBL, but anybody else with Juju is, is going to be a problem. Uh, Spoil Brad says Kent is, isn't leaving. Uh, she was just with ADR today in the gym. Okay. I mean, Kent was getting some playing time. I don't, I'm, I'm talking about, I think there's two other players that never get to play. Those are the ones that I was referring to. I don't, I don't, um, I, Kent got some playing time, so I don't know. I think, like you said, she might be happy there. Talia from Oregon is going to USC. Okay. Um, Tamika says, absolutely not RC. What did RC say? Uh, MMA says, nah, Deja to LSU makes no sense. Okay. They didn't want HBL. Kim wanted her. <laughs> okay. That's what Keisha said. I'm trying to jump through some of these. Y'all are going ham in these comments. Thank you, by the way. 
Um, MMA Lifestyle says LSU season decides on if Flage and Anissa say they want to lead lead the teams. And I think they will. I think um, Flage is a is a natural born leader when it comes to LSU. She was already in everybody's ears and everybody's face face during this tournament. She was one of the reasons why they were staying in the game. And they talked about how she even Kim says Flage will take over the 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 times out time out sometimes and started running her own plays and talking about what she wants to do. So um and them as a team, she talks talks in in you know halftime and in the locker room. So I think I think Flage and Anissa can um can um lead this team. Um RC says Deja Kelly transferring is bewildering. RC also says, Jay, I'm almost certain I'm not leaving the Aces, but I still got to make the announcement. Okay, I'll be, let me know. Make sure you tag me in the announcement so I can see that. Um, RC says, everyone thinks I'm going to change teams now. I'm rocking with the same three teams I always have. Okay. Um, Keisha says, Angel has been in the gym with a professional trainer getting ready for the WNBA. I did see that. And I'm loving seeing that. That jump shot looks mighty nice. Um, that's one thing I felt like <clears throat> she needed to work on um, to improve her game. And I, I'm happy that she is, she's doing that. Ben Carson's car. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Not Ben Carson. <laughs> ben Clatson. My bad. My bad. Ben, Juju, Juju will play another year, and if she uh, has a good one, you may see her in the draft of 25. I watched her play at um, the USC games. Um, unless they change the rules, she won't be able to go to the WNBA. Um, I think you have to be 22, and you have to have been in school for four years. So unless they change it, she's going to be there. Not saying she's not. I think she's great, but we'll, we'll have to see. Um, Tamika says 82 people, but 31 likes the math, not math and folks get them likes up folks. That's what I'm talking about. Tamika, get those likes up 81 people. I need to see at least, at least 75 thumbs up, at least 75 likes lunch break. Hot take is in the house. Salute. Thank you for, for being here. I appreciate it. Um, Jay, did you see my response about what would happen if Stokey left Iowa? No, I didn't. I'm going to go back up. I know, Kyra. Oops, not Ben, ben Carson. I, why is that even in my head? Why is that even in my, <laughs> in my head? What am I doing? <laughs> Let me see if I can find your response about uh, Stokey. Um, hold on. Let me come back out real quick. <clears throat> I didn't see it. Say it again. I'm, I'm going back through these uh, comments. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Somebody's not staying. We talked about Hannah Stokey. If I skipped y'all's comment, my bad, y'all. Um... Ben says, you have a great smile. Thank you. Thank you. Product of Invisalign. I appreciate it. Cost me a lot of money. Um, RC says, if Hannah hits the portal, I'm going to come join the Gamecocks. No, you're not. Stay over there. Stay over there, RC. <laughs> we don't want you over here. I'm going to call Don Staley singing Jonesy uh, song, Cry For You, Baby, I'm Begging, Baby, I'm Begging, Begging, Baby. Ah. <laughs> uh. You stay over there. Don't be leaving because uh, Stokey leaving. Spoil Brad says, Kit confirmed she's coming back to SC. I, I didn't have a doubt. Did somebody say she did? Did we think she was leaving? I didn't hear anything about her going anywhere. Um, I never, I don't think anybody from that team, like I said, right now is going anywhere. Tamika says, I was a proud mama of Raven, but now I expect defense all the time. Yes, I, that. But if you think about the way they did Deja Kelly, um, her defense throughout the season, like, it's not been horrible, but I think I think this level of defense that we saw her against CeCe was so she, – she she says she's been watching that, that game they lost last year 
over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, like to the point where she had to stop herself from watching it, that she studied all of CeCe's moves. She's watched her games. She's watched film. She's looked at the scouting report. Like she knew that girl like the back of her hand. And it was her mission, her personal mission to guard her. She said, and I might have the video. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. But she said in, in one of her interviews after they won a championship that, you know, the first quarter, you know, they, CC was lighting them up first quarter, 18 points, just shooting forever from wherever she wanted to. She went to Don Staley and said, I, I need to guard her. Like, put me on her now. <laughs> like, let me do that. And when she did, we already saw what happened. So I am so proud. It's in, it's in Raven. Obviously, it's in her. She puts her mind to it. She can do it. And she can literally be one of the top guards in, in women's college basketball playing like that. Um, a point guard playing defense like that is crazy. It's crazy. I wish some of her, her shots would have fell down, but I think her mind was focused. Her mind was focused on one thing that night. And if she got some points, great. But I think her main focus was trying to contain CC, which is a hard job. It's been a lot of people that have tried to do what, what Raven did and they have failed. Um, but she was so focused on that. So I'm, oh man, let me stop talking before I start tearing up again. <laughs> Cause y'all know. Well, y'all don't know, but I, I will lose it. It must be the the retrograde or, or the whatever the um, eclipse that happened yesterday to get me so emotional. Um, All Positive Network, hello, welcome to the show. Um, there are thousands of girls to recruit each year. Bluter isn't doing her job. It's not hard to find a female that um, that's at least 6'4 and develop her out of high school. That's kind of like what RC was saying. And then RC says, no lies detected. Um... There you go. Lawrence says Prairie View A&M University. That's where you went. Yes. Did you look it up? Lawrence, did you go look up the, the record for the most uh, losses in football college history? <laughs> Is that what you went and did? <laughs> we be winning now. Okay. They, they win stuff now. Right. So don't, don't hate on, don't hate on my PVAMU. Um, <laughs> I, did you, I need to know, did you go look that up? Um, I'm a proud panther over here. Hold on, y'all. My dog needs to go out, out of the my room. My bad. Y'all, there's 109 people in here. Keep it coming. 107. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Give me those likes. I'd appreciate it. Uh, Kevin says, I'm surprised kids coming back. She could be a star somewhere else. Well, that's the point of, uh, or the theme of South Carolina, uh, Kevin is that they all know that they are good players and they can all probably start somewhere else, but they have bought into what Don Staley, Don Staley has created with her program and is making them winners and starting is great, but winning is better and being able to feel comfortable to to show off your game when your number is called, I think means a lot to them. And I've already said, you know, she prepares them for, for the next level. People respect Don. And I think people coming out of Don's program for years to come, um, these, these um, WNBA GMs are looking at them and they know that they're a special group coming out. And then they know when people, people are starting to talk about them, maybe not so much in the media as they need to, but people are looking at them knowing that anybody off that bench can still ball. Like they're, they're, they're nothing drops with South Carolina. When you, when you sub people out, there's no, there's no lag in the game. There's no drop off. Sometimes it's even better. I mean, it shows 37 to zero in, in bench points, what they did 51 to zero against who was that? Was it Oregon or Indiana? I can't remember who, who it was where, 51 to zero bench bench uh, points to the other team. Like they have something special going there. And I, I do hope that egos don't get in a way that they, they're saying right now that they appreciate it. And I hope they really, really do. RC says, is it possible? It's a poss uh, possible blessing for me in disguise that Caitlin is gone. I won't say exactly why, but I will say Caitlin Clark was the reason we looked even better than we were. Can't let up. 
Keisha says that um, Angel posts, I'm so happy for Dawn Staley as a black woman. I admire what you've done. You've always checked on me and always loved me like your own. Yes, I did see that. I didn't, I don't know. I didn't take it as shady, but then I, in the back of my mind, I was kind of like, you know, this is the second time now that I've noticed that she has not said anything um, about Kim Mulkey <laughs> and how she supported her. Um, so, um, I mean, Don, people, the players love Don. Don is a player's coach. They love her. Uh, Teresa says, has Bluter always been at Iowa? Tamika says, hit that like button, folks. Yes, hit that like button, y'all. Ben wants to know who went to the game, who was at the championship game. Joseph says, Jay, do you think the seatbelt crew could beat Iowa? Do I think they can beat them? Yeah. They beat them. Is, are you talking about the, the seatbelt crew that, that's on South Carolina? Lock her up. Locked her right on up. Kyra says, when my intramural team lost in college, we hung it up after two games. We got smoked in both and knew it was over then. Yeah. Um, Our teams just weren't that good when I was in college. Not Like I said, not until the basketball team went to the tournament. I want to say my sophomore or junior year. Um, we did win our first game. The reason it was such a big deal that we did win, um, our first football game in 80 something games. Um, I think it was my freshman year. We went or sophomore year. I don't remember now we went crazy and then they started winning after that. Um, still not great, but I mean, also our school HBCU, it's in the middle of nowhere in Texas. Uh, Texas um, A&M is right down the street from us. So most people that that's going to go to school to play football would pass us up and go to Texas A&M. So it's kind of hard to recruit, you know, a bunch of really, really, really good players and stuff like that. But we still hung in there. Um, Tamika says kids will be a star right here in South Carolina. That is true. Spoiled Brat says I went through the list of everyone in the portal. There's no one. Everyone gets out. Oh, no. Not everyone's getting out. <laughs> RC says to Tamika, why? That's going to be the song from Joe to see that Don uh, say all right now. Come on. Come on to Gamecock Nation. <laughs> but first, you're going to have to burn that Clark jersey. Yeah. I mean, Don is a nice lady, so she might just let you in. But I'm saying we, we over here, I ain't letting you in that easy. Um, Tamika says that is the funniest shit to me. MMA Lifestyle has been in here, but I'm just getting to his comment. He said, hey, guys. Lauren says, you, you see odd for next year. You see the odds for next year to win the championship for South Carolina or LSU? RC says, Jay, I'm almost certain I'm not leaving the Aces, but I still got to make the I already said that. Um, ben says, Iowa fell apart against UConn. They almost lost that game. They almost lost that game. If it wasn't it was, it was a couple of different things that happened. I mean, um, UConn did lose the lead for a while. I thought they had it, and um, the game could have been won, but, you know, some things fell apart. Um, a lot of people say it has something to do with the refs. I don't know. I was trying to fall asleep because I had to work early, so I didn't get to see the whole thing, but I was watching on my phone the the, box, the uh, live scores every every so often. Um, RC says the MMA lifestyle humbled, but happy to see Don win it all. Uh, thought South Carolina earned that win and championship. I didn't have no issue with it except we didn't get it done. Lawrence says people forgetting about Kent for LSU. She started in the SEC championship against, uh, against South Carolina. Okay. I didn't forget about Kent. I didn't think, I don't think Kent is leaving or obviously I guess she's not. Ben says they seemed off. I was at the game. I know the shots were not going in. If you're going to compete against South Carolina, you need to be at your best peak performance. You were at the championship game, Ben? How crazy was it? If you were at that championship game, how crazy was it at the end of that game? MMA Lifestyle says the RC um, and them um, was going crazy after the win. RC says, Lawrence, uh, you feel like sending Kent to Iowa. RC is trying to do more recruiting than uh, Lisa Bluter is. Leave, leave people alone in here, RC. Um, Keisha says they don't I already said that. Um, I think I'm catching up. 
Um, RC says to MMA lifestyle, yeah, I love y'all to death, but I ain't want to watch all that celebration everywhere. I just wanted to see Don's thoughts on the win and watch a celebration on TV. Um, let's see. RC's trying to get kits. You're not getting kits. Hang it up. Oh, that's what Tamika was saying. Absolutely not, RC. <laughs> right. Absolutely not. Ben says to spoil Brad or Oregon State Beavers, go Beavs. All right, we talked about that already. Come to Bayou where you get a big bag. Who won't want to play with Big Foe and Morrow? I think they're actually cool to, to play with. Um, I really like that team. I'm just really, I want to see how everything uh, shakes out. MMA Lifestyle says to Leah Scott and Juju is a problem of a backcourt. That's facts. Teresa says maybe HBL can go to Temple. <laughs> Y'all trying to send that girl everywhere. <laughs> RC says to Tamika, right after y'all won, I had an Iowa fan tell me they hate Dawn. I was like, uh, look, be mad we lost, but don't go telling me you hate Dawn. Dawn is pure gold and in class act like I'm black. Like, how can you hate Dawn? Like, if you hate Dawn Staley, you just, you have hate in your heart for no other reason other than to hate. That lady has been nothing but gracious and classy when she didn't necessarily have to be. Um, she, like I said, is a player's coach. She looks out for other, There, did y'all see the clip with Cameron Brink was like running up to, to Dawn Staley? Like, these players love her. Angel shouting her out. Other play Flage going to her, apologizing after that whole thing went down. Like these players really love and respect Don, and it's not for nothing. So for people to say that they hate Don, they they they're just talking because they don't know her. Jermaine says, "Shoot, these players might uh, try to make a super team and beat SC." I mean, look, I was thinking the same thing. It's very reminiscent what I'm hearing. Very reminiscent of the Aces. A lot of these W teams are making these are making these teams to compete with the Aces. They did it last year. They've been doing it in the offseason uh, this time to see, you know, how they can challenge the Aces because um, with the team that we have right now, three-peat is definitely possible. But um, last year, a lot of teams created their roster to directly compete with the Aces. And I feel like the same thing is going to happen with South Carolina. Now they kind of know what, what South Carolina has and how, how they're utilized. And I think that um, a lot of these head coaches at these other schools are going to be looking at that and creating their roster around that. Like, how deep is our bench? Like, do we have the people in place that, that can also – you know, elevate our game when our starters are not on the floor, stuff like that. So I definitely see that coming. Um, we talked about that. Spoil Brat says Big Foe is ready and Anissa wanted to build um, her draft stock. Yeah. She can do a little bit better, but she didn't, as far as draft stock, she didn't tank like HVL. Anissa actually won a lot of the publication awards. So people are looking at her. I do know she had a really good career at um, DePaul. So, I mean, she's there. She needs to work on a few things, getting her shots to actually fall down and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I think they're, I think they're a great tandem. And then you add um, Michaela Williams to it. I think they're going to be, they could be pretty dangerous next year. All right, y'all, there's 127 people in this chat. Can y'all give me the likes? I don't know where I am on the likes. I don't know where I am on the subs. I'm on the road to 500. I'm trying to get to 500. That's a goal that I have for myself. If y'all could please do that, that would be great. And I actually, I'm trying to, give me one second, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One quick second. <clears throat> I 
All right. Sorry about that. To, um, RC says to Tamika, I'm black. A lot of white Iowa fans think I'm going to let that slide. I'm not going to let that slide. There you go. Reggie says, great show. Thank you, Reggie. Welcome to the show. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you give me a like. And if you like what you are seeing, go ahead and give me a sub. And if you guys want to check out other stuff on my channel, feel free. I have playlists of all my different things that I do here on the J-Spot Network. I don't just talk sports. I talk music, entertainment. I've done interviews. Um, I've done, um, I have a podcast. So it's a lot of stuff um, here on my channel. I hope you guys check it out. And hopefully you like something. Um, Reggie says ladies need to get paid more money on a pro level. Yes, 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 yes. And yes, and yes, and yes again. Um, RC says, Jay, did you see oh, I already? I think I saw that already. Um, MMA says, <laughs> MMA lifestyle says Sulky should enter the, the transfer portal to LSU. Uh, Teresa says, RC, imagine if Anissa Morrow were to leave LSU. Now, where's she going to go? Where do you think she's going to go if she were to leave LSU? Now, if, if Anissa left, I would feel bad for Big Foe. I would feel bad for Flage. Um, Because that girl is trying to keep, like, she's willing that team to win every time they're on the floor. And not saying they couldn't get some other pieces and she couldn't work with the people she has, but I really like, I really like that group. That was there, Angel, Anissa, Big Foe, and um, Michaela and Poa. I thought they made a, a pretty good team. So hopefully, um, I hope she doesn't she doesn't leave. Um, Tamika says, uh, "I get what you're saying, but some folks are just miserable." And I say, let them be miserable. That kind of company, I don't want or need. Facts. Spoiled Brat says, "Have you seen a list of everyone in the portal?" There's absolutely. Oh, I said that already. Joseph said, did you hear that Lay is on trial for the body of Tasha Kelly <laughs> coming soon? <laughs> Surviving for Wally. Man, the way that her and, and Raven tag team that girl, that poor baby ain't have a chance. I kind of felt, I kind of felt something was going to shake right then. When, after that loss, I was like, I don't know what's going to happen with Deja. And here she go in the portal. I'm not, I wasn't surprised. RC says he don't even like Anissa. What? What, RC? Reggie says, so says uh, Stokey uh, didn't get more love by the media. Yeah, I definitely feel like, um, I mean, we know CC was going to get the bulk of, of all the coverage and media and stuff like that, but it would have been nice. Um, that's another thought that I had. It would have been nice to also showcase as Iowa was on the forefront of, of everything because CC was there. It would have been nice uh, to, to hear more about the other Iowa players. If you weren't an Iowa fan, you know what I'm saying? Like Iowa fans know about the other players, of course. And they probably talk about the other Iowa players on like the big 10 network or something like that. But for like the regular people that don't know much about Iowa, it would have been nice to hear more things about some of the other players. So, when CC leaves, it's not like everybody's kind of not trashing them, but every, pretty much everybody's saying Iowa's throwaway and not considering some of the players that they still have on the team. That probably doesn't feel that good to them. But I think Stokey is is a great player, and uh, she definitely needs – she should have gotten more shine. Uh, Kyra says, what if Ben Carson was in the chat, though? That would be – that would be odd. <laughs> <laughs> that would be odd. Tamika wants to know, uh, spoiled brat, where can I see the portal list? Okay. MK6 Mike. Can I just call you Mike? Um, Mike says, hi, I am a new viewer. I hit the like button for you. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. Kyra said the same thing I said. What? Why not? Uh, Teresa says, RC me either, but Kim would be screwed if she did. Spoiled Brad says she found it on Twitter. MMA Lifestyle says, who do you think Notre Dame needs to add? <sighs> okay. I honestly don't. If their players come back healthy, because they still have Prosper, you have Olivia Miles, 
that is on the bench. I do know Maddie Westfell is gone. I don't know how long Watson is going to be out. But Anna DeWolf, Sonia Citron, Hannah Hidalgo, Nat Marshall. And if Olivia Miles comes back, oh, and they have K.K. Bransford. I think, I think they're good. I mean, it doesn't hurt to add somebody. But I actually think they're good. Once they get their players back that are injured, it's going to be a problem. Notre Dame is going to be is going to be a, a problem, in my opinion. Uh, ben says, "Kyra, I, I maybe, but I don't want to get dunked on." Tam, Tam, sorry. Tamika says, "Welcome, welcome." That's right, welcome, Mike. Lauren says, "I'm glad Haley leaving to buy you you." Um. I think <laughs> I think that there were some big expectations for Haley coming to LSU and those expectations did not come to fruition. I think it's very tough to take someone who's been playing one position for all that time and and try to get them to play a new position with a with the reigning national champs, with a team that kind of already has a bullseye on their back, a fairly good team, but a team that I think other teams were were coming for because they're the national champs um, or were the reigning national champs. And I just think, I don't know if you put somebody new that's learning that position there and clearly – she it just wasn't that great she had moments that was good she had moments that that was really good um but her defense wasn't good enough um a lot of times I saw her kind of looking lost when she's kind of running plays she didn't look that confident in it the only time she really looked really good is when Poa would come in and run the point and she would go back to her natural two guard position um but that's not what she was brought there for so um I'm I think I think she deserves to go somewhere where she really fits in and the program works for her. I think s somehow, some way it was forced. Um, someone was saying that Haley really only came there for the NI NIL bag. They offered her a lot of money to go there. I think it was, did they say 500 or 600,000, something like that in, in, in NIL deals to come to LSU um, so maybe that has something to do with it as well. Um, I don't really know if that's true or whatever. I didn't look that up, but it wasn't the best decision in my opinion. RC says, what if Anissa and Flage both hit the portal? <sighs> if both of them hit the portal, I get it. I get it. I'm going to ride with them where they, wherever they go. Um, LSU would then be in in um, a rebuilding phase. Like I don't really care for Kim Mulkey. I'm, I'm I'm really I really love LSU because of the players. So if most of the players left, I don't know how much I would be riding with LSU just because um, I just feel a, a certain way about Kim. I don't I can't put my finger on it, but I just something about her. I don't I don't really care for. So if my players that I love are not playing there anymore, and and I never got a chance to watch the other players because she benched them and never had them play, then, <laughs> you know, that's kind of hard to stick around for somebody that just became an LSU fan. Like if I've been a fan for years and years, that's different. Um, but uh, Mike says Raven is a pro. Yes, she is. Hold on one second, y'all. My dogs are out. I don't know what they're doing. Give me one second. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, I'm back. Yes, Raven is a pro. I've been watching, I've had an opportunity to watch a lot of Raven's old videos, like when she first committed to South Carolina. 
I just really I'm I'm becoming more and more of a Raven Johnson fan the more I get to to know about her. And uh I think she's awesome. Teresa says RC then Kim would retire. <laughs> she probably would, because what? Um MMA Lifestyle says, nah, they won't. They're about to lead the team. I agree with that. Mike says, why didn't LSU put um, an athletic guard on CeCe? Mike, that's the question we all have. We all have that question because, in my opinion, Flage should have been on uh, CeCe, but I, I don't know. Or switching out. Like, you see what South Carolina did. Like, Raven had the bulk of the assignment, but they switched off. Bree Hall had CC sometimes and a little bit of, of Tess, Tessa Johnson, but they were switching off. And for whatever reason, I don't know what Kim, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Tamika says, Mike, she would definitely be a top 10 pick when it's time for her to go pro. Talking about Raven. Lauren says that would never happen. RC about Anissa and Big Foe leaving. Mike says he sees it. Oh, I went too far. Joseph says, RC, do you know how CC counts to three? Oh, stop it, Joseph. We're not here for that. Come on, leave RC alone. <laughs> Mike says Raven looked like Gary Payton out there. Ooh, the glove. There you go. Because she was sticking to that girl. Uh, RC says, uh, the one thing I don't want to do is fight with other Aces fans regarding Caitlin and the fever. Uh, We're not fighting in here. It's all love. We ain't fighting in here. Uh, Mike, MMA Lifestyle says the Mike Kim was stubborn. She was. I.O. is in the house. I'm late, but I got my dinner plate and I'm here now. Hey, hey, girl, what is going on? Welcome to the live. We just in here chatting. I ain't even got to, to my videos or nothing yet. We just in here talking, talking about everything. Uh, Robbie says Raven will bring it all together next year. She said uh, she sacrificed her focus on offense because her team needed her to lock down CC. She'll do both next year after she perfects her shot, uh, shot too flat. Yeah. She did. Like I said, I don't think her mind really was like offensively there, like taking the shots that she knows she can take and make. I think her mind was like, this is my assignment. This is what I'm doing. This is what this is what this is what I've been studying for. And that's what she did. Uh, Darnell says, if you see this <laughs> lock, 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 it means I'm about to lock you up like Ray Ray Johnson. <laughs> Crockpot, Crockpot was cooking, man. Crockpot was cooking. Um, Tamika says, Hey, the IO was good. Shakim, Shakim, Shakim. I hope I said that right. Um, I like Fagan. She is my favorite big. Welcome to the live Shakim. Uh, I like Fagan too. Fagan, Fagan. I mean, every, everybody on this team did so well during this championship game. Like they really like when one didn't make it somebody was there to clean it up if, if a shot didn't fall somebody was there if someone missed something on defense somebody else was there like it was it's so dope to see to be honest darnell got the eyeballs out for io lawrence to says to rc who wouldn't want to come to lsu southern uh jaguar play them the other team on the bayou Io says, what's up to Tamika? Darnell says, you feel me? Tamika wants to know what's for dinner. Let us know what's for dinner. High, bri high Vibrations is in the house. What is up, chat? Or hey, chat. What is up, High Vibrations? Thank you for coming through. I appreciate it. RC says, the NBA is too small of a league. One day, Raven going to end on the same team with Caitlin on a fever. <laughs> now, Raven... Technically a sophomore, so she has two more years. I'm thinking, I wonder if they'll expand, expand one more team before 2026 happens. Because, you know, next year they'll have Golden State. So I'm wondering if they are expand one more time before that time comes. And they're going to keep expanding as they're building. Like, I think this year is a pivotal year for, for the W especially with like the rise of college women's basketball and all everything that they've gotten, they got going on. And then you have Cece who was going to the W and probably going to take a lot of her audience with her. Um, if they can build off that momentum, if people actually stay and watch 
not just CC and watch some of these other teams. We may, we, they may be able to build on that. And within the next three to five years, we can probably see a huge turnaround with the W. But I mean, I think now, now is the pivotal time where they need to start making these decisions and really like jumping on the marketing and jumping on, you know, bringing the audience in and utilizing these eyeballs that they're going to have on them um, once these new players come. Because people are going to come to see CC play, but people also are going to come watch and see what Angel is doing. You know, if these people make a team, what is Angel doing? How is Cardoso doing? What is Cameron doing? Like these people have fallen in love with some of these players, Rakia Jackson. They're going to want to follow them and see what they're doing. And I think the W – um, now more than ever needs to jump on that and do something something with that. So hopefully, hopefully they do. Tamika says, I'm good. Still on my Gamecock high. Um, Lawrence says, I'm a big Southern Jaguar fan too. Southern, that's the HBCU. Shout out to them. I have a friend that went there. Uh, I also said, that's right, J-Spot. How have folks not figured this out by now? They're, they're all starters, but for them, it's not so much about individual accomplishments as it is about chasing championships. And they win. It would be different if, if Don had them buying into the system and they were like 2 and 30 or something like that. Like if they weren't winning games, if they weren't winning games in the way that they're winning, if they weren't seeing that by them playing together, everybody can eat. Because Tessa Johnson has a big game one time. Chloe had a big game one time. Cardoso keeps having big games. Raven shines sometimes. Like when they play together and they're unselfish, it gives everyone a, a chance to shine. And I I would think as a player, that's that's more that's dope. That's a good thing versus maybe being a star on another team, but you know. Things happen. You might not have the pieces you need to have your team be successful. And then you're losing every time when it comes to, you know, big games and things like that. So um, I I think they have a good program going there. Uh, Teresa says, yeah, RC, don't blame you, but they won't be nice to her. Even Aaliyah Boston hasn't been treated good. Um, if we're talking about CC going to the W, I might have missed, missed that. Um, if we're talking about treatment – of the players just overall um w definitely needs to like work on uh their accommodations their facilities but it all come i mean that costs money so you know if it don't make dollars it don't make sense so they got to do something to turn things around <laughs> darnell still with the locks if you see that i'm about to lock you up like ray ray johnson um uh I.L. says to Tamika, I'm too high. I've been rewatching stuff and just cheesing it up. It's a pizza kind of night over here. Um, I, I don't know if you were in here when I was saying, like, I have literally been in tears since Sunday because every time I watch, like, I can't, if I watch Don cry one more time, I'm just, I'm through. Like, that. that's what took me out when Don was crying and she just could not hold it in. That took me out. And then just seeing Raven trending for the right thing this time, seeing Tessa coming off the bench, being a freshman and just lighting people up. People don't expect that. Um, it was just a group effort, and I've just been so happy. Tamika says, I don't think egos will get in the way. I don't see one um, Rivers in the bunch. I agree. Keisha says she didn't tell Kim she was going to the WNBA. <laughs> I mean, good. I'm glad she found out like the rest of us in, in Vogue magazine. <laughs> Wouldn't that be crazy? You don't think Kim knew anything at all? I'm sure, I'm sure um, Angel was really close to one of her coaches. They were on live the other day, or was it yesterday or something like that? Um, so I think she's really close to one of her coaches. Somebody knew. Um, I don't know if she didn't tell Kim, but that would be funny if she didn't. Uh, RC says, can we talk about the championship game, Jay, how we won the first quarter and then get beat down? <laughs> okay. I just be trying to get to people's comments. There's so many in here, and, and then I, I forget to get to them. I don't want to miss anybody. Um, I'll get Jim. Jermaine says, we get so caught up in who's starting. Our team is showing you it doesn't matter who starts. Everyone plays. That's right. Reggie says, HBCU strong. That's what's up. 
Yes. Um, VSUCIAA, stand up. Darnell says, nah, 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 it's a positive swing for Raven Johnson. A year ago, she was a meme. Now let's turn it around to her, to her favor. You feel me, high vibrations. Facts. Uh, daycare delegation going to have me on high for a while. <laughs> Darnell says, it's called four quarters, not one RC. RC says, you right, though. I got to call the fever hotline phone and tell AB, Aaliyah Boston to hop on Caitlin ass about a true effort defending, not just playing passing lanes, but working on the uh, D side of the ball. Um, hey, look who's in the house. Bree Wayne said, everyone in here? Yes, everyone came to see me, and I appreciate it. I appreciate y'all. It's 122 people. I don't know where the likes at, but give me the likes. I should at least have 100 likes by now. So if y'all have not gave me the thumbs up, go ahead and do that. I would appreciate it. Jermaine says, Starting ain't important. Um, LSU has a hell of a starting five, and AS was at the house. <laughs> no slight to them, but being a star doesn't make great teams. It's about winning at the end of the day. That's that's facts. Mike says, watch out for Juju. IL says, WNBA needs to expand. Uh, the high vibration says, oh, for sure. I love me some Raven Johnson. Glad we have two more years with her. All right, all right, all right. Let, let's, <laughs> let's get into some more celebrations real quick, y'all, because I have my slides. My slides are back. All right, so a couple of other things I do want to point out. I know this ain't got nothing to do with South Carolina, but I, I had to talk about how my girl, um, Hannah Hidalgo, got the Don Staley award. Now it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with South Carolina per se, but it does have to have something to do with Don Staley and the award, um, for, let me see. Cause I, I can't see, I got to blow it up. The Don Staley award goes to the player who demonstrates exceptional skills, leadership and performance at the guard position. Hannah's court vision, passing ability, Ball handling and ability to create scoring opportunities for herself and her teammates combined with her relentless defense is unmatched. Y'all know how Don feels about defense. She is the embodiment of a two-way force on the basketball court and the essence of what the award represents. In a season where there are several deserving candidates, Hannah has separated herself from the group, signed Don Staley. That is major. That is major. I love me. Y'all, uh, I love me some Hannah Hidalgo. And for Don Staley to uh for her to get this Don Staley award and Don to say those things is is pretty dope. Because literally, she is one of the best two-way players and just a freshman. I can't wait to see what she's gonna do her senior year. By the time her senior year comes around, like when you play both sides of the ball, like you are a hot commodity because not everybody can do that. Some people are really good on defense and suck at offense. Some people are really good at offense, suck on defense. But when you can do both really well, like she's been doing, man, man, shout out, shout out to Hannah. Love me some Hannah Hidalgo. Um, Robbie says, Hannah, I O says, congratulations, Hannah Hidalgo. Uh, Bree Wayne says Don Staley knows basketball. She was the first one to give CC uh, Don Staley awards when everyone else was uh, salivating over Paige Buckets. True. True. I did hear that. Um, Country Notary is in the house and Country says, can we get some likes? Can we get the likes up to 100? I don't know where we at, but can we get the likes up to 100, y'all? Please. And look who is in. Look who is blessing the platform, y'all. Queen of Love Sports is in the house. The queen of the internet media. Shout out to Quita for being here. Quita says, Hannah is the future. Can't wait to see her continue to develop. That's right. I mean, I can talk about Hannah all day and all night long. Like, I love, love Hannah. She's, for her to, I, I've said this before, for her to come in and take over this game, take over this team, when half her team is hurt and continues to get hurt and for her to perform the way she did, even when South Carolina blew them to smithereens, their very first game in Paris, <laughs> who was there scoring 
dropping 30. That was Hannah, who was not giving up on defense, even though that team was was killing them. It was Hannah. And that's what opened my eyes to her, and I've been watching her ever since. She she is dope. Kyra says, sound the horn, Jay. Do I need to drop some air horns? <laughs> Wait, where they at? <laughs> Oh, my homie, Autumn the Aries is in the house. Thank you for showing, showing up, Autumn. I do appreciate it. This is my homie. If y'all like podcasts, if y'all, I don't know if anybody knows what Tagged is, but if y'all are on Tag, she is the queen of Tag. That is another social media program or platform. Um, go follow her. She's dope. Um, let's see. Spoiled Brad says, I saw Asia Petty committed to Ole Miss. Oh, you know what? I had a feeling she was going to do that. I'm not that surprised, but that's dope for her. Uh, Bree Wayne says Hidalgo gave us buckets. Yes, she did. Um, Robbie says, where is Seth so we can have the trifecta up in here? That's right. Where is, where is my, my favorite auntie with uncle tendencies? Where, where is she at? Speaking of that, speaking of that, y'all, while I have y'all in here and Seth was brought up, next week the WNBA draft is happening on April 15th is at – 6.30 Central, my time, 7.30 Eastern. Um, Sess and I, by popular demand, will be together again live on both our platforms. We will be having a live uh, WNBA, WNBA draft uh, watch party on both of our platforms. So please come through, whether you are on my platform, on her platform, whatever that looks like. Join us so we can have us a good time watching the draft. Um, I had so much fun the last time I was on, on her platform, and we did the tandem live. We decided to do it again for the draft. So next Monday, be there or be square, 630 Central. Well, we might go on earlier than that. The draft is happening at 630 Central, so I don't know what time. I'm going to let her figure out what time she wants to go live. But feel free to join us, and let's have a good time um, up in here. Uh, MMA Lifestyle says, to me, she would be the number one point guard in the nation. I think that's facts. Uh-oh, RC says, wait, Queen of Love Sports here? Let me put on my fancy tie and grab my shiny black dancing shoes. I know, when you get blessed by royalty, that's dope. That's dope. I appreciate Quita for coming through. Uh, Tamika says, I think she a good little player. I just don't love her like most of you do. It's okay. It's okay. Not everybody is for everybody. It's dope. I mean, it's, it's, it's fine with me. Um, I love me some Hannah, but hopefully she'll win you over as she continues to play. Um, let's see. Let's see. These Generation Z kids will get on your nerves and humble you into loving them. I'm a parent of a Gen Z. Uh, some days is Lord help me. Other days is thank you, Lord. <laughs> That's what, what's, what happens next is thank you for showing, for being here. What, what happens next? Autumn says, we lit. We are lit. Um, what? Lawrence wants to know, ask Quita how she became such a Gamecock hater. Truly broke my heart to learn Quita hated my beloved, my beloved mighty Gamecocks. Quita doesn't hate the Gamecocks. When did she say that? I've been watching her. I don't, I don't think she hates. She doesn't hate the Gamecocks. Give me evidence. Give me some evidence. Um, all right, let me get back to my slides, y'all. We ain't going to never be done with this. <laughs> um, all right. Now, now we are here. We are here to talk about the 2024 national champions, the um, South Carolina Gamecocks. <laughs> This championship in such great style. I have a little clip that we're going to listen to. I want y'all to close your eyes and imagine it's at the end of the game and you're hearing this. Six seconds to go. Perfection with a touch of sweet redemption. Undefeated South Carolina has won its third national championship. <sighs> that 
That's right. I had to, I had to get, get in a moment, get in a moment to talk about this great, this great, great game that we just, <laughs> that we just witnessed. Um, I have pictures. I have pictures of the crew with their, with their championship. I'm going to put myself down here so we can really see. We see Breezy. Look, look at Lay with the Butter. Lay with the Butter is just too, too cool for school. Look at her. We got P Pow Pow. We got Fagan. Look at Tess. You better kiss it, Tess. Tess did her big one. Tess did her big one. Led all scores with 19 points. Came in the game every single time. Every single time she got in the game, she was clutch for us. Chloe Kitts with her trophy, with the trophy. We got um, Swatkins in the house. We got Miller, the three-point killer. She's leaving us this year. I'm so sad, but there, there she is with her championship. She's a two-time national champ, y'all. I don't know if y'all knew that. She's a two-time national champ. And I didn't mean to have Raven all by herself, but the way her picture was, like it gave like I need to be by myself energy because it was such a big picture that I couldn't fit it <laughs> next to somebody else's. But she deserves. She deserves. I think that that um, most valuable player kind of award should have been shared between her and Tess. Um, as far as that game is concerned, killer two, killer two or Miller. I call it I call it a three point killer, but <laughs> Camilla two. But what Raven. Hollywood Crockpot Johnson did. I still just, it's just still crazy to me the way that she locked that girl up. And I hear people online, I see the comments and they're like, well, she didn't do, she didn't play well. She was only one for 11. That I don't, uh, Caitlin still got off 30 points. That, that doesn't, that isn't locking up to me. Maybe you can say that, but. Let me get let me get to the graphic. Let me get to the graphic before I get get to some more pictures. I took this graphic off off a of TV. When Raven was guarding Cece, Cece had seven points. She was three for eleven from the field. She had a twenty seven percent field goal percentage, and she turned the ball over four times. And Raven guarded her pretty much, what, second quarter on? I think she was there a little bit for the first quarter, but not really. Second quarter on, after Caitlin dropped 18 bombs on us, I, I was a little, I wouldn't say I was worried, but I was just like, okay, y'all really, is this how this game is going to go? <laughs> like, are we going to be playing behind the whole game? Like, come on, like, let's do something. But Raven, seven points. The rest of the team... The rest of the team, CC scored 23 points. She was 7 for 17, 41% field goal percentage, and no turnovers. But when that crockpot Johnson, when she turned that crockpot on and stuck to Caitlin Clark like, like a glove, when she stuck to her like white on rice, that's the result that we had. So I, I cannot, I have to give, I, I have to give Raven her, her, her congratulations. <laughs> For doing such a great job. Such a great job. We have to, I have to shout her out. I have to. Uh, let's see what... Uh, Y'all just in here. Hold on, hold on. I don't want to miss anybody. Um, but shout out to Raven. Like, it's crazy. I'm, I'm so, so happy for her. Another person I'm happy for is this lady right here. The Don Staley. This team... I don't remember the number now. Some of y'all may know in the comments, but in three years, they only lost three games. They lost two games that first year. They lost one game last year. That was the final four loss they had, and they didn't lose any games this year. She <laughs> is. If they wasn't talking about her being a GOAT coach in college women's basketball before, they are definitely – talking about that now. And if you can see in the graphic that I have where it shows that Don Staley, hold on, let me take my banner off real quick so y'all can see it. In 1991, she was player of the year. In 1992, back-to-back -back player of the year. As a coach, she was coach of the year 
2020, 2022, 2023, 2024. She has four coaches of the year, three back to back to back to back. She is the only person, I believe they said male or female, in college, college basketball history to have that, to be a back-to-back -back player of the year and back-to-back -back coach of the year. She's dope. She's dope. <laughs> Y'all can't deny. How do you hate on this lady? Come on. Maybe you, they hate because she's great. Maybe that's what it is. Sometimes they say, if you don't have haters, are you really, are you really living? Because uh, Don Staley is the truth. Um, and then let's talk about the ratings. Last year, LSU versus Iowa, they had already they broke the record that year at 9.9 .9 million. Um, that was the average viewership. This year, this year, 18.9 million average viewers with a peak of 24 million. That means Raven Johnson was cooking in 4K in front of 24 million people. That means Tessa coming off the bench as a freshman was cooking in front of 24 million people. That means Malaysia Fulwali came up around the back going for the layup. She missed it, but she was still on the floor. She was doing her thing in 4K. Camilla Cardoso, like, come on, y'all. Like, this, this, is, this is major. This is major. And that's another reason why I was so, like, emotional because, like, they didn't get talked about. South Carolina, for the things that they've done as a team, you did not hear about them as much as you heard about other, other people and other teams. You just didn't. And what they've done to only lose three games in three years, to be, what, four straight Final Fours, um, to have two undefeated seasons back-to-back, -back, to have lost their five starters that they had. Five went to the WNBA and one person off the bench went to the WNBA to lose those players and to come back with a whole new, uh, essentially a whole new team because they're all new starters um, and be undefeated and then win the championship. Like, people weren't talking about that. So for them to have 18.9 million people watching with a peak of 24 million to see like this team is the real deal and this team deserves to have the looks and the eyeballs on them as well. And these players do as well. Um, and Don Stanley is Staley as well. I think, I think is, is just is overwhelming. Like I'm just so happy that the light was shined on them. Like I really, I really, uh, I do. I think I'm, I'm just excited. So excited uh, for this team. And I'm happy because most of them, we're only losing two people. Everyone else is coming back. So I, I hope that this um, helps raise their stock and their viewership. And, and people were already selling out Colonial Life. Like they were already, South Carolina supports their own. They were already doing it big um, at home. And I just hope that there's people now watching that see this team that will continue to follow them. So I'm so happy for them. Um, another little tidbit here the all tournament team uh camilla cardoso Paige buckets caitlin clark tessa johnson tessa johnson made the all tournament team come on and hannah stokey this dope starting five there dope five so um i'm just so happy y'all like i'm so proud of this team like i can't say it i can't say it enough um but I'm gonna get in. Y'all, y'all still got uh, y'all still got got these comments humming. So let me let me get there. Um, oh, Darnell says that's the LSU and Iowa fans not giving you likes unless we speak about their team. Well, first of all, I'm an LSU fan, so the people that already sub me know I love me some LSU. So I, I know the LSU fans in here are giving me the likes. So shout out to them. Now, I don't know about the Iowa fans. Um, the only Iowa fan I know of is RC and RC, uh, me and RC go back. So I know I'm getting the likes from him. So everybody that's in here, I got 143 people. If I'm not at 100 by now, uh, something's wrong. Well, now it dropped down, but something's wrong. <laughs> I, I, need, I need at least 100. Autumn says, that's a good idea. I, sh I should have did that for the NFL draft. Yeah. It's gonna it's going down. Y'all, y'all that were there 
when we watched what what were we live for? Was it the I forget what we were live for? It wasn't NC State. It was one of the tournament games, but we had such a good time um, doing that. So I think it's going to be so fun to watch this, uh, watch the graph draft together. Uh, Dr. KJ, what is up? Big ups to Hannah as a former player and lover of basketball. When I say as a woman's basketball, um, women's basketball is making a huge positive shift and I'm here for it. This year was lit. Wait till the upcoming season. And I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I wish you can start like, I love my WNBA, so I, I want to watch my Aces see if they can three peat. I want to see what the what the rookies are going to do this year that are getting drafted. But I'm already looking forward to this next college season. Like my year is sold up. My year is sold up. <laughs> I'm ready. Um, women's basketball is like is on fire right now. Uh, country says to Lawrence, you can actually be re be respectful. And uh, why we always got to hate Quita admittedly does not have a women's college basketball team. That's right. Quita, Quita is not a hater. So just so y'all know, Quita, Quita is very, um, she reads the facts. She gives you the stories. She says her opinions here and there, but she's very like, she's the ESPN. She's the sports center. She's going to give you what you need to know. And then she's going to move on. Um, but she's not a, I've never seen her hate on um, South Carolina. RC says, um, my big man ass going to cry when Caitlin is drafted. <laughs> um, MMA Lifestyle says, LSU fan here. I gave Jay Spot a like. That's right. LSU fans love me. So um, I know Darnell isn't 100% sure on how, you know, on, on, my, on, my, on my people that's in here, on my crew. But uh, LSU fans love me because I love some LSU as well. LSU would be on that revenge tour. I'm an LSU fan and I'm giving the likes. Thank see. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. I appreciate it. Teresa says Jay Sess and Quita should do a broadcast together. That would be actually really dope. That would be really, really dope if all three of us can get together and do a massive um, live that would set YouTube on fire. So Quita, if you're still in here, um, Let's talk about that. I think that'll be dope for whatever, whatever situation, whatever we want to figure something out. I think the, the watchers would love it. I think a lot of our people that are in the comments, they watch all of us. And I think it'll be a dope thing to see us collaborate um, and support each other. Um, Cause I, I think it will be a, a dope thing. So let's talk about that. Quita Seth says she's already down. She's ready to go. Um, <laughs> Kyra said, oops, not a good little player, <laughs> right? I had read that. I'm like, okay, good little player. <laughs> Quita says, dude, no idea what you're talking about. I've continued to give SC their flowers all season. Can't please everyone again. And you can't, and that's fine, Quita. You keep doing what you're doing. Whatever, wherever that information came from, he probably, it was just a misunderstanding. It's a misunderstanding because I, I don't see how people can watch and say that you hate on anybody. Um, for, for anything, you, you probably spread more love than, than, than most. So not a hater. Quita is not a hater of South Carolina. Maybe you came in one time when we were joking with her saying she was hating on South Carolina. Maybe that's what happened. I smile. What up? I smile. Coach Yo, um, building a team. Yes, she is. Darnell's back. Oh, here we go. Darnell, we, we're not doing that in the comments. I, I ain't, we're not doing that. Uh, Bree Wayne says, Quita heard you say Iowa starting five was better than SC starting five broke people's hearts. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Quita says I literally just made a video celebrating SC. Quita, you ain't gotta. You good? You ain't gotta prove yourself. We 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 know what's up. Uh, RC Stucky in a portal. What? No, she not. Bree Wayne, I know you planning. Don't don't. She playing right. Lawrence Jacobs says uh, Jacobs Enterprise will be do donating money to LSU and Southern. That's what's up. If you got it, give back. If I have it, if I had it, I would be giving back to my alma mater. I ain't got it, but um, I support them with my my love and 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 um, love and good vibes. <laughs> I smile, said womp womp. 
Um, okay. Uh, that's right. MMA Lifestyle says, Quita, don't worry about it. RC says, I don't hate South Carolina no more personally, um, but I still hate LSU a little bit. If, if some more people transfer, the hate will be will lessen. As much as you hate LSU, that's how much I'm going to love them. So it's okay, RC. Um, Kyra says, don't forget she also hates LSU on women's basketball, <laughs> right? Let y'all tell it. Quita hate everybody. Um, Quita, a high vibration says, you know how some game cops fans can be? We sensitive about our team. Um, IL says, Quita don't hate teams. She's just ready to see somebody get got. That's all. Autumn says, undefeated. Talking about my South Carolina game cards country also wants to know sometimes Bree Wayne be playing she has to be playing because I where's she at is she down there is she joking around I need to know if she joking around about that about that Stokey in a portal she coming to the game cards okay yeah she joking <laughs> she playing around Robbie says a topic that's flowing under the radar I would love to hear from the fam on coach yo hiring a former Syracuse coach Quentin Hillsman, he's the reason Camilla went to South Carolina. Now, I saw an article about that. I did not read it, but I did hear people chattering about it on Twitter. I actually sent that that article to uh, Sess because we were talking about it one time um, in her live. Um, apparently, yeah, he's apparently he's problematic. And there's been some things that I guess he's been a part of in Syracuse that they are now questioning why Coach Yo would hire him to be on the staff because apparently whatever wasn't wasn't good at Syracuse, um, he was a part of that. So I don't really know a whole lot about it. Like I said, I didn't read the article to know what's going on with that, but I do know that Coach Yo is getting a lot of backlash for having him be part of her staff. Um, I don't really know what happened when Camilla was there, uh, but um, that's going to be interesting. If he is a problematic person, um, hopefully he's not problematic there, but I don't really know what the problematic is, so I, ain't, I, ain't, I don't really want to say too much about, about that without knowing the full story. Uh, Joseph says, Zaya Cook did an interview on Lay and said that Lay is the best player in college basketball. I would agree with that. Lay with the butter. My Laysha Fulwali has a lot of just energy. And you can see how much she's changed her game and, and become more uh, defensive, has a more defensive mind. Um, and when she puts her mind to it, the things that she can do, she just needs to – I think she's too fast for herself. <laughs> like sometimes when she's going to the basket, she's so fast – like she's not connecting to the basket. She's over, she's missing her layups and stuff like that. Cause she's like overshooting the basket. But once she calms down and really gets into her game and develops, man, we got so many good players in the league. It's crazy. G walls says, hello, G walls. Welcome to the live. Can't wait to see Caitlin versus Sabrina in the liberties in, uh, in the MGA or M was MGMs, MGSs. Um, I would also like to see Caitlin CC versus Sabrina. I would like to see that. I think uh, that would be really interesting to see. And I also think that uh, Caitlin will be in an all-star game. I think Caitlin will be a part of the three-point shoe it out. And it's probably going to be her going up against Sabrina. I know they wanted um, Steph Curry to, to come to do like another um, – like another battle with, with um, Sabrina. I don't know if they're going to do that, but um, I do think, I'm pretty sure of it. I don't know why they wouldn't. I, I really see CeCe going head-to-head -head against uh, Sabrina to see who takes the, um, the title as my dog is walking around being Mrs. What are you doing? Hey, go sit down. Go sit. Um, Lauren says, the only good, good sport team, South Carolina, have women – College basketball, MSG, Madison's, oh, the Madison State Garden. Wait, am I saying that right? Now I'm messing myself up with these acronyms. <laughs> High vibration says Hollywood. I say crockpot. 
Uh, Robbie says, I love how the Lady Gamecocks celebrated. They show much class and joy. Brava to the ladies. Um, RC says, Tessa, I love you, baby. Tessa is, Tessa came out of nowhere. Tessa came out of nowhere. Like she had been creeping up throughout the season, but I believe what was against Iowa, Iowa against, um, Indiana. She did really well. Um, and then of course, uh, what she just did against, um, what she did against Iowa, like people, they weren't expecting her is the thing. Like, I, why would you think a freshman <laughs> who you don't see very often would, um, would be the one that scores the most points. But that girl, that girl did her big one. Let me see. I want to bring up, if I can, uh, the box score, if it'll let me. Because we got to see what, what the girl did here. Let's see. Box score. Okay, hold on. I'm going to share my screen so y'all can see this in a second. Um, Quita says to Bree Wayne, I said that Iowa's team was better than SC's that night as determined by offensive pro uh, production that game, but I don't actually think Iowa's starting five is better. They just didn't have a bench. That's what she was saying. She's just clearing that up. Uh, Bree Wayne still trolling RC about Stokey. Um... I don't think that's true, Robert. I don't think that's true. I don't I don't know what y'all are seeing, but I don't I don't I don't agree with that. High vibration says beautiful group of young ladies. I smile says the floor general. Uh Bree Wayne says, gotcha. Autumn says she locked her up for real, shut her down. She definitely did that. RC says, Hannah Stokey is not leaving. Y'all pulling my leg. Yes, Bree Wayne is trolling you. Bree Wayne is trolling you. <laughs> Lauren says, come to LSU where dreams come true. Y'all, somebody come to LSU. Uh, Bree Wayne says, I'm sure HBL's dreams were shattered in LSU. Um, I think she definitely got shell-shocked at LSU, and uh, hopefully wherever she goes this next time, she will have um, better success. Tamika says, stop it. Raven shut that child down, locked her up, and threw away the key. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. B. Ryan says, HBL going to Washington Huskies. Um, RC says, this team probably drive me crazy next year. Robbie says, Raven didn't guard CC much in the first quarter. That was uh, Breezy or Bree. Then Raven got on her and CC only had three points in the second, then nine in the third and fourth. Damn. Yeah. Breezy was guarding... Um, CC, I think because of her long arms, because she was putting her hand like I'm doing in the camera right in her face. Um, so she thought that, you know, I th maybe that was the way to go to try to guard, um, guard her. But I mean, CC threw a three up above Cardoso when Cardoso was out. Guard Somehow she got switched out on her and Cardoso was guarding her and she just rainbowed that three right, <laughs> right above um, Cardoso. So, I mean, that the height and the arms weren't working. She needed someone that was right up on her. Um, she, Raven knew to make her go right instead of letting her go left. Um, Raven was right up on her. She got called for a couple of fouls for hand checking. Um, but Raven was, was not giving that girl a breather. Raven was going under every screen. Like the one time she got caught up on the screen was the one time that that um, Caitlin got that three on her. But other than that, Raven was right up on her. She knew exactly what to do. And her hand was in her face. But she it was one moment. Caitlin, they were taking they were doing the inbounds and Caitlin was like sprinting down, sprinting down the floor to try to get to her spot. And Raven is right there. Raven is right. She didn't care about nothing else going on. Her main focus <laughs> was was uh cc and she was she was getting it um robert leave leave quit alone we're not don't we're not doing that uh dr kj says i was just saying that stokey need to pack her bags and leave iowa now caitlin was her co was covering for her on a lot of occasions from the mistreatment she does not uh talk about run stokey oh run like leave iowa okay 
I see that. Um, yeah, MMA Lifestyle says there's too much shade going on. I don't know why. We don't do that over here, y'all. We all we all get along over here. So take the ne negativity out, out of the chat, please. It's all love over here. Um, Autumn says, yes, Big Don, not the little one. <laughs> Louis Vuitton Don. Tamika says, also CC took like 28 shots, scored 30. That's not a good percentage at all. Um, don't tell that to some of the Iowa fans because they definitely in all the in all of the um, comments, <laughs> definitely in all of the comments saying that. Um, what? I don't even. Cop. Cop, lock up, CC, corn. <laughs> Not me trying to figure out what you're saying. I think I get what you're saying. <laughs> you said she locked up CC <laughs> and she got with Sanaya Rivers. She she was on her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That game was, was crazy. Um, all right, let me share my screen real quick so y'all can see. Um, Uh-oh, hold on. I'm going to exit out of that. All right. Y'all see this here. So we're going to go down the line to see. Uh, oh, I guess I got to bring me, bring it in here. There we go. Bring this on in here if y'all can see that. Let's look at these box scores. So Cardoso, 7 for 14 from the field. She was 1 for 5 for um Free throws. She didn't do well on free throws. She did have 17 rebounds. She had two fouls, two assists, two turnovers, three blocks. Actually, one big block at the end of the game that kind of just was like, I think we're done. <laughs> I think we're done here. 15 points. Tahina Pow Pow had 14 points. She had two assists, no fouls. She was a little shaky in the beginning of the game, but she ended up three for four from three point. Um, four for seven from field gold. Um, she had a decent game. Um, she was again, clutch when we needed her to be like, we were shaky that first quarter, but every time, especially when we got the lead, when it looked like Iowa was coming back, we had those big time clutch shots from like Bree Hall, definitely Tessa Johnson, definitely M Malaysia Fawali gave us some good points. Um, everyone who scored or even, or even had a defensive, um, showed up on the defense, definitely helped the team. Chloe Kitts, my girl Chloe, y'all know how I love me some Chloe. 11 points, 10 rebounds. Um, she was 50% um, from free throw um, line. She was five for eight. Chloe was cleaning up. Now, Chloe was on the ground a couple times. But other than that, Chloe was cleaning up on those boards. Bree Hall, seven points, um, three fouls, one turnover. Not the best stat line, but she did give us – um, seven points. She, she was three from six from field gold, and she did um, hit one big three-pointer near the end of the game that really, again, kept us afloat, kept us going, kept us in rhythm. Um, I rem When she hit that shot, I said, big shot haul, because whenever, right when you think she's not going to hit that shot because she's not been doing well or she hasn't been taking shots, Bree, We'll take that shot, and, and she definitely helped us out. Raven, again, you don't see this on her stat line. If you look at her stat line, 1 for 11, 0 for 4 for 3 points, 1 for 2 on her free throws, um, 5 rebounds. She had um, 1 turnover. She had 3 points. But look at this, 4 steals, 2 blocks. 2 blocks at the same time. I don't know if y'all saw that. I think both blocks was on Caitlin Clark. <laughs> Um, three assists. So although it doesn't show on the stat line and look at her minutes, cause you'll notice not too many times will one player get a lot of minutes. Raven got 36 minutes. She led everyone in minutes and y'all already know why. If Caitlin was in the game, she was in the game. Don kept her, took her out a couple of times where I was like, okay, Don, like, uh, we need Raven back. <laughs> like, I know you're trying to rest her. Uh, Raven needs to come back in the game. Um, but yeah, Raven did such, such a good job. Tessa Johnson, 19 points again, just out of nowhere, 19 points, one block, four assists, four rebounds, four for 10 from the field. Like 
no, 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 no. Seven for 11 um, from the field, three from six. She get she hit three big three pointers. She was 50% from, from the 50% from three point line, two for two on free throws. Um, what can I say? What can I say about Tessa Johnson? They call her turning test. Now they call her turning test. Cause she shows up big when it's time for turning time. Right. Malaysia full Wally also, uh, although she didn't have big numbers, she was still a presence there. She was um, four for 10 from field for the field goal, uh, one for three on threes. She had four rebounds. She had four assists though. And y'all won't forget that assist that she chunked that ball all the way across, across the court to big time Tess, who took that shot, that three. And it was like, oh, the, the rookies came to play. The rookies got that court vision. They came to play. Um, so that was dope. Shania Fagan, again, six points. She had four rebounds. She had an assist. Um, she had a block. She was three from five from the field. Um, she had a, you know, they were, they were um, what do you call it? Um, role players. They were role players. They, although it doesn't show on the stat line, their presence there changed a lot of shots, helped a lot of turnovers, helped a lot of people change, change what they were going to do in their scheme and offensive scheme. And they really did a good job. Ashlyn Watkins, Watkins had three points, um, one assist, one block. She had five rebounds. And y'all remember her from last game. I believe she had uh, 20 rebounds, which was a career high for her. So um, overall, just uh, overall, just a great freaking game. Like, I don't even know what else to say about them. Um, just a freaking great game. Um, NDTT, welcome to the live. Um, SC all the way up. Lawrence says 109 to three. Yeah, that's the record. 109 and three is the record for South Carolina in three years. Only lost three games in three years. Y'all better put some respect on Don D. Staley's name when you talk about college coaches. Um, RC says there's absolutely nobody better at coverage of women's basketball than Queen of Love Sports. And I'm saying that from a truly sincere place. And I agree with you. Um, Richard says, who has to only, wait, who has to only like the Gamecocks? Some people can cheer. <clears throat> oh, who has to only like the Gamecocks? Some people can cheer for multiple teams. Sometimes your favorite player that you follow through high school and college to the pros. Yeah, I like multiple teams. Like I love South Carolina, but I also like um, LSU. I love some Notre Dame and next year I might, I might like some, some other teams too. So, I mean, I, I just love the game. So yeah, I have my favorites, but I actually love watching the game. And the more I get to know about these players and these teams, I'm probably, probably going to have some more favorites. <clears throat> All right. If y'all could run up those likes, I don't know where I am on likes, but run up the likes y'all. And, and I'm on the quest to get 500 subs. I don't know where I am on subs, but if you are not subscribed to me and, and you enjoy what you've been seeing so far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I smile says the Don Staley and Raven, Raven Crockpock Johnson's voice. Right. <clears throat> Bree Wayne says 38 and oh, unblemished, undefeated, unreal perfection. That is right. Tamika says she's going to go walk your dogs. Go walk your dogs. Tamika. Thank you for, for coming through. Um, Autumn says doubled. I know that's right. Um, even my lifestyle says Quita, <clears throat> do you know, Kayana trailer, former Virginia tech player, also former Chicago, Chicago sky is playing in FFBB in France and is giving buckets. Uh, Autumn says, man, I hate she missed that yet shot. Yeah. Uh, lay wanted that so bad. She wanted, she wanted that moment so bad. I don't know if y'all noticed this. Those of you that have been watching South Carolina basketball. South Carolina started off game one with Malaysia Fulwali. Not necessarily taking over the game, but she had one of the most viral basketball moments ever. I mean, this year with the around the back, the fake 
around the back layup on Notre Dame. And everyone, she put everyone on notice that she was here to play. South Carolina had a, a, a um, competitor and a freshman that was going to be taken over. And then how did South Carolina end the game? Their very last game, another freshman, Tessa Johnson, put the world on notice that she's also here. So I think that's dope. The two big, the, the, the bookends of the freshmen kind of solidifying themselves in the game. Like you have everybody else. Everybody else is doing their thing. But Malaysia was kind of like the standout in, in, in game one. And the last game, the standout was Tessa Johnson. I think that's pretty dope. Um, <clears throat> uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Quita says, um, every other day I'm accused of hating a different team. I don't care who wins. I like upsets, no matter who it is. Seems like I, it doesn't matter the coverage. I'm still a hater. People are going to say what they want to say, girl. Just let it roll off your back. Don't don't worry about it too much. If 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 no one is talking about you, what did they say? You're nobody until somebody's talking about you. That's that's what they used to say on Gossip Girl. I used to watch Gossip Girl. <laughs> But it is what it is. You know, people people are going to say, I like trash talk. And sometimes people get on me because I enjoy Angel Reese. I just, I do. I'm sorry. I, I like that. <laughs> I enjoy it. And now I'm going to enjoy Diana Taurasi, who's been talking mad noise. Mad noise. <laughs> so she is waiting for these rookies to come into the league. I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, I smile says, I'm so proud of these girls. So am I. Um, Joseph says people, people stop using that generational player phrase. Well, Dawn Staley used it and I'll take her word for it. I don't necessarily use that, but Dawn, Dawn does. And I'll take her word. Quita says also, uh, trailer has been doing her thing overseas. It's great to see. Yep. Um, <clears throat> RC says, so y'all want to take Stokey away from me too? Who's going to be left on my team then? <laughs> Dollar Tree employees. <laughs> Kyra says, if you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. That's what I said. Uh, Bree Wayne says, not going to lie, but CC was the show this year for real. Yeah, giving, giving props to CC. Like, I will be honest. I will be honest. I wasn't watching her as much as some other people were. I really wasn't as into her as some people were um, because I got the fatigue. Like I felt like it was just a lot of her all the time, but you can't deny what the girl does, what the, what the young lady does for the game, in the game, with the game. Um, she's dope. And I don't like, I don't feel like they lost the game, but I feel like she is so much more ahead of her. Like, yeah, Iowa lost. So, yeah, Iowa may be feeling a way. But CC should not feel any kind of way. They invited her to training camp for the Olympics. So I don't know if that's still – if she's still eligible or can do something with that. Um, they said that they may end up adding her to the three-on-three -three for the Olympics. She could be – she could come into this league, this WNBA league. I don't know if she'll do this because there will be an adjustment. But who knows? She might be the next Candace Parker – who comes into the league and wins MVP and rookie of the year in the same, the same year. That's possible. She could do that. Um, but she could outside of that, have a really good season. She's going to be in an all-star game. She's going to, if they pick her for the Olympics, she, they're going to win gold. Like her, her, her stamp on basketball right now is super dope. And outside of ESPN shoving her down my throat, I can see through all that and I can still say that I think she's a dope player and she, she does a lot for the game and she will do a lot for the W um, once she's there, in my opinion. So I don't have no hate for uh, CC. I think she's a great player. Um, I, just choo I just chose to use my platform to try to like give some light to some other players and other teams maybe that didn't get so much of the, the spotlight on, on a national scale. Um, but I, I – I'm not blind. I can see what what see, what she does for the game and with the game. I think she's dope. So that's my thing on 
on Caitlin Clark. So I hope RC heard that and he he's smiling right now. <laughs> uh Robbie says Coach Staley in uh rare field air right now. All flowers to Don. That's right. Um, Richard says, I like Caitlin, Raven, Reese, Page, Juju, Hannah, Flaw, and a whole lot more. And neither one is the GOAT. Okay. Neither one is the GOAT. Nika deserves, is it Nika? From um is Yukon, right? She she locked up, she got with, with CC too. She did, she started the Homeland Security Brigade Brigade and, and Raven finished it. Like she did really well on her. So she does deserve um she she deserves some shine as well. Um Kyra says, No, I'm not a I'm no gamecock, but Breeway might. I don't know what that is. RC says Tessa baby. Uh Teresa says, Joseph, how can you say that CC isn't GOAT because she has no ring? It's a team effort to win a championship. She couldn't win one alone. I agree with that. I also agree. I agree with the ones that say that maybe she isn't the great. I think she is the best scorer, obviously the best scorer, the best shooter that the game has seen as far as records are concerned. I think that. But as far as an overall player, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't consider her a GOAT, like an overall player. But for what she did and what she does, um, she's she's dope. Joseph says, Quita, by the way, much love. Thank you, Joseph. Thanks for giving some love. I appreciate that. We all love over here. We all love. We, we too excited over here to be having negativity floating around. My team just won. Um, what happens next says, when is the documentary coming out? There's a lot of stories to be told about this team. If something ever can come out, let us know. We need a 30 for 30 or something. We do. We do. I do know the one on Camila Cardoso, uh, um, Kiki Rice and Caitlin Clark is coming out May 11 and May 12th is going to be, I think they said ESPN plus and ABC is a two parter. Um, one part May 11th, the other part May 12th. But as far as the South Carolina, um, the South Carolina documentary, we need that. I've been tweeting at ESPN. I mean, they ain't listening to me, but I've been tweeting at them about a lot of stuff. <laughs> so I'll add that to, to the list. Lee says SC is about to repeat. Country says a seatbelt crew plus Raven could. Uh, Bree Wayne says, what if Camilla goes two and brink four? Will there be an outcry? Somebody's going to say something for uh, Camilla going to outside of, um, you know, replacing where Cameron was projected to go. Somebody's going to say something. But um, I, for me, I think Camilla and and uh, Rakia to L.A., that's what I think. I don't know where Cameron will go, but um, I was looking at that. Also, I was looking at where Angel might go. Because right now, I think they have her going to Minnesota. And I don't know. I don't. I mean, I think her being with Nafisa Collier is dope because Nafisa Collier is a great player. I think she can learn a lot from her. Also, um, Sylvia Files, who was, at, um, was L at LSU, Simone Augustus, who was at LSU, both made their marks at at, at um at, at, with the links. So I think, I mean, it may be a good thing, but also DC, also DC. I think her being close to home, she brings a lot of fanfare there. Um, I think that could be a good thing, but I don't know who's there that, that would be good for Angel. I think Angel needs a vet. I think Angel needs a vet, like a really, really good vet, established vet that she can, um, learn under and continue to work on her game. So I don't know what DC has there, but I, I like the fact of fact of her being close to home. Um, but I'm not that mad at her going to the links, especially with the history that they have there with other um, LSU, LSU players um, going there. So um, to answer your question, yeah, I think that would be <laughs> an outcry. M MMA Lifestyle says, if I'm honest, South Carolina is the best sport and franchise in all of Carolina, which is crazy to say, considering there are some college universities um, like 
better than Panthers, Hornets, UNC sports. Yeah, that is true. I think right now they're putting their stamp on it. Oh, before I forget real quick, I have two clips and then I'll get back to the to the comments. Two quick clips. I had a bunch of clips, but I'm not I didn't get them all together, y'all. Um, there's been so much, um, which I've been loving, so much coverage on South Carolina, at least that I'm finding on YouTube. I don't know what they're showing on TV, but on YouTube, I think is it's been dope. I think uh, Stephen A. Smith on first take, him and Shannon Sharp had uh, Chanea Gumake and Andrea Carter on, and they were talking about South Carolina. I think that was some, some really good things that St Stephen A. and uh, Shannon Sharp had to say about the team. Um so if y'all if y'all search YouTube, I'm sure you'll see like all this stuff. It's like tons of stuff on online. But this one thing, um, I don't know why I ended up with this clip, but it's still it's still nice to see. This is Breezy. Breezy was very emotional after the game. Um, this is from March Madness TikTok that I got this video from. But this is Breezy being interviewed after the game. I see the tears flowing right now. What's going through your mind? I had an article about how, how hard it was mentally for me at this game. And at times I wanted to quit. And I just kept pushing through thanks to my coach, thanks to my mom believing in me and having confidence and just to go out here and win a national championship is amazing. And I know they're so proud of you. They're sitting out there in the stands, a home state kid doing it in this fashion. What does that mean to you to do it like this? It means the world. I, this couldn't be any more perfect, honestly. And you also see Aaliyah Boston here. She's in tears as well. All the Gamecocks in attendance. Building on this legacy, what does it mean for you guys to do it for them as well and for you to do it with this group? It means so much. I'm just so proud of us. We fought all season long. I'm just very proud. I'm just so happy. I'm just lost for words, honestly. And a national champ. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Isn't that so cute? Where am I at? Hold on. Isn't that so cute? Shout out to Breezy. And this other clip, <clears throat> Raven Johnson has got to be one of the funniest people in college basketball without even trying. Like her saying the, re the revenge tour is over and then jumping up and down <laughs> after that cracks me up. But this particular interview that she did, just just watch it. She The girl, she tried to drop the mic and the lady was like, no, come back. We got more questions. <laughs> but check this out. Sure, it's complete. How would you describe this moment? I mean, it's like... It's, I'm lost of words right now. I mean, just with this team, what we went through, and I've been waiting for this game. I'm not going to even lie to y'all. I've been waiting on this game. I've been waiting for Kayla Clark because what she did to me, I mean, it hurt me. I just say, that get back. This was an apology to yourself. What would last year's Raven say to this year's Raven as a champion? Keep going. Keep believing in yourself. Even when people don't believe in you, nobody knows you better than yourself. And then you were able to be a part of two of three of South Carolina's championships to go down in history like that. What is that like? I mean, uh, it's hard to do, especially with Coach Staley. I mean, just went under her. It's not easy, especially at the point guard spot. She's so hard on me with everything. And I just cherish her. I just, I'm just happy for her because I love her. She, just, she means a lot to us. Congratulations, Raven. <laughs> not her saying... <laughs> That get back a blank a blank. <laughs> Fill in the blanks, y'all know. <sighs> that she had a video, I think it might have been the video when she was on FaceTime with Angel and they were playing that song or saying that piece. But I I love Raven. I love me some Raven Johnson. But those those were cute. There's plenty of other clips, y'all. I didn't get all those clips together. I figured tonight would be a lot of conversation going on. I probably wouldn't get to them. Anyway, um, but <clears throat> I think that uh, I, I just, I'm just so happy to see, so happy to see her. Um, let me see what else we got in here. Lee says, I think that the Sparks might pick Cardoso for second spot, but I don't know for the fourth. Well, if they pick her for the second, I would, well, who, who's third? Is it Chicago? 
Is Chicago third? So if, if they pick her second, does Chicago then? No. If they pick her second, does Chicago pick Cameron? And then does the Sparks pick Rakia? Because I think that's how it is. Is Caitlin's supposed to be one? Cameron's supposed to be two. I think they have Rakia as three and Cardoso as four right now projected. Um, <clears throat> so if that happens, I wonder what's going to, are they going to, is Chicago not going to pick? Who is Chicago pick? I wonder. I don't know. Hmm. Spoil Brad says, I don't think anyone thinks Brink should be second. <laughs> um... Helen of Troy is in the house. Diane Taurasi said Camilla played her way to the number two pick. I believe so, too. And again, like I said earlier, I think with her international play experience and her having played, <coughs> her having played with these W or against these WNBA players um, already, I think um, as to her experience and um, it should make her stock, it should have made her stock be up already. But the way she played during this tournament, I think it definitely Help that. Uh, Keisha says South Carolina 8775B Iowa, just like LSU, 185. The black underdogs, both teams, no one wanted to see them. Yeah, the championship is real melanated. There's a lot of melanin in those championships. So some 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 people may not may not um like that, but I love it. Keisha said, I gave likes. Thank you. I appreciate it. Lauren says, Gamecocks love you, J-Spot, almost as much as we love Sess. Almost. Oh, almost. Well, one day I might get up to Sess's level. One day. <laughs> I smile, so don't forget Captain Will. Okay. <clears throat> I need to, I don't, I don't, uh, I'm not that familiar with Captain Will. I feel like I've seen stuff, but um, I'm not that familiar with, with Captain Will. Um. Joseph says, Cleveland was awesome, excluding those annoying Iowa fans. Kyra says, it's not that deep. It's not that deep. Um, Helen Troy says, we're going to follow our girls to the WNBA. Yes, we are. That's what I'm doing. Um, Robbie says, getting a trifecta together on a cast would be dope. I'm here for it. That's right. I think we're all dope creators, and it will be an awesome thing to have us all together. Heisha says, South Carolina is awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Bree Wayne says, most of them stand in college, the flashy and entertaining ones I might follow WNBA when they draft Juju class. Come on, Bree Wayne. You got to watch a little bit of the W. A little bit. I don't, I, I, I don't know if I heard you say something about the Aces, but Aces, the Aces are a good team to watch. Uh, the Senator is in the house saying salute to Bree Wayne. I wasn't going to bring that up, but you have to be a hater to suggest Iowa has a better we're not talking about that. We're not talking about that. Um, Richard says, you can say Caitlin isn't the GOAT if your eyes tell you she isn't. Caitlin is the GOAT when it comes to shooting, the GOAT of threes, a lot of GOATs that shot from two better rebounded and defended. Anybody, she's the GOAT to whoever y'all want her to be. Like, if y'all want her to be the GOAT, she's the GOAT, you know, to whoever. You, everyone has their own GOAT. Me, my all-time favorite goat or my all-time goat is Lisa Leslie. But people, some people may not agree with that. Some people may say Maya Moore. Some people may say Diana Taurasi. Some people may say Candace Parker. Um, but everyone has their reasons for why they choose who they want their goats to be. And it's so subjective. There's so many different things. There's no, like, I don't know. There's no, like, written down standard for what a goat is. Um, but... Lisa is mine. <laughs> um, Lauren says we broke the record on Iowa in championship game last year because we had killer instinct last year, but this year we didn't have killer instinct. Yeah. Fell a bit short. Um, I know Angel was really wanting, wanting to, you know, do big things. If she wouldn't have twisted her ankle again, I wonder if she would have made a bigger impact. Um, but uh, they just, they kind of fell short. Um, Mark says, you, Sess, and Quita will set it off, but Iowa starters score more points because they play more minutes than SC starters. Facts. Um, high Barbation says, will of Ole Miss players start transferring, then we know what's up. 
that's true. If they start transferring out, we know that the problematic dude is still being problematic. Um, <clears throat> Richard said, I don't think LSU had killer instincts. They did out hustle and get hot. RC says, Mo Malaysia for Wally or Hannah Hidalgo? RC, don't come in here asking me no crazy questions. <laughs> I don't know. Malaysia for Wally or Hannah Hidalgo? Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know if I can pick. They both do two different things. They, don't, they both do two different things. But... Man, Malaysia's Malaysia's got the like, she's got the glow. Like for Wally, if you get her going, she's got it. She's flashy. She just needs to work a little bit more on her game. She will get better. But if I had to choose, and it's like, like by a hair, I'm gonna go with Hannah Hidalgo just because Hannah Hidalgo's like total game and what she did for her team this year. That's the only reason why I would go with Hannah over lay with the butter. Uh, Marcus says, as much as Caitlin was amazing in her college career, her final two games, she seemed helpless to a degree. Could that dampen her chances of being the first pick of draft day? No way in hell did that dampen anything. Indiana, Wants Caitlin Clark. <laughs> they have celebrated. Ticket prices have gone up. Like she, she's going number one. There, I don't. I see no, no scenario where Caitlin doesn't go number one. And I don't think, I don't think her performance in her last two games would dampen anything as far as her going number one. Um, because not everyone has a great game every single time. And I'm sure whatever opportunities that they think she has, I'm sure that's something they feel like they can work with her on and get her better. Um, I don't think that's enough to make her drop down below one. Uh, Lauren says, for Wiley needs consistency. I think she'll achieve that before next season. Oh, yeah. She's going Madison Square Garden. I knew that. I knew that. I don't know what I was saying. I knew that. Thank you, though. <laughs> Darnell says, update. So there's, there was smoke about Chloe Kitts. Two hours ago, she said that she's returning to SC next year. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If someone said that, I think they were just trolling. It's okay. Kyra says, that's a toss-up. Uh, Bree Wayne says, Lay is very talented, but she is still raw in fundamentals off uh, ball defense, making plays. Uh, pace of the game, the college basketball IQ, not saying her basketball I IQ isn't good, but it needs work. That's that's facts. Lauren says, Sabrina's a fake superstar. Caitlin will eat SI with biscuits and gravy. I can't wait to see it. Uh, Kyra says, I'm going to wait. I'm going to say lay, though, so I can always say lay with the butter. <laughs> Darnell says, thank you to all the fans for the support. See you next year. Chloe, she ain't going nowhere. Oh, see you next year. That's what she said. See you next year. Yes, yes, that was on Twitter. How many points, RC says, how many points and assists will Caitlin need to make all-star team her rookie year? If I'm being honest, Caitlin's going to be in an all-star game no matter what. I don't, I, don't see, I don't see her not making an all-star game. I don't even know if they care about points and assists. Um, if she plays well, and don't don't the uh, don't the fans vote for who makes it, or is that just in the NBA? I can't remember. Um, but she's gonna be there. I don't think I don't think that matters. Bree Wayne or Helen Matroy said I started following them because of Asia grew to love KP Chelsea the point guard Jackie Young Sid CP3 etc. Yes, same with me. I started watching the Aces actually because of uh, because of Don and, and Asia coming from South Carolina, but I just thought they were a super exciting team when I first saw, saw them, and I've been following them ever, ever since. 
Um, RC says I might have to go get a, a Tessa Johnson jersey. A look, don't tell nobody. Um, country said, yeah, that Quentin hire is crazy. Oh, I think someone was asking Quita if she's going to do a video on Quentin. I would like to know more about him as well. Lauren says Tessa played great early. She hit the freshman wall midseason, but by the time March March rolled around, she got her legs back and resumed kicking butt. Yes, and she was a great high school player. I also looked up some stuff on her. She she was jamming in high school. Helen Detroit says I hope we see more WNBA games on TV. I had a hard time finding most games. Um, I was lucky. I don't know, I guess, because I was following the Aces and a lot of Aces games were on TV because I guess because they won the prior year. But I have YouTube TV. So YouTube TV um, played. Well, ESPN used to play a lot of the games. I think it was like Wednesday night, I believe. Um, there's a channel called Ion that used to play um, WNBA, WNBA games weekly. And then um, Amazon Prime was playing weekly WNBA games. I think Ion was Friday nights and Amazon, I want to say Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken. But this year I'm buying the WNBA League Pass, so I should be able to see more games. But yes, just on generally, they do need to televise more of those games because, yeah, sometimes they are hard to find. I agree with you. Um... Marcus says, well, both my teams lost the tournament. Iowa and Purdue, Big Ten fan here. Okay. You and RC should hang, should, should, should hook up. He talks about uh, – he likes Purdue. Not, he doesn't talk about them much, but he's a fan of, of Purdue. Um, Darnell says, Plies took a pick with Pow Pow, brother, and Raven's mom. Oh, I love Plies. Plies is, <laughs> is so funny. Um. Let's see. Courage. Welcome, Courage. I'm I'm glad Raven took over because I didn't want to want Bree to get cooked on Twitter like HBO. Yeah. It was shaky a little bit. It was shaky a little bit. And I was like, okay, we need to switch. We need to switch off on somebody because Bree, Bree is doing okay, but not like she's not as effective. Um, and when Raven got there, it was it was a wrap. And then um Tessa did a pretty good job, too, when she was on her. She wasn't on her very long, but she did a pretty good job. Um, that was a huge problem with Iowa. They don't have length. That's what Marcus says. Uh, Rewayne says, man, CeCe was taking Bree Hall straight to the basket. Didn't matter what Hall tried to do. She was getting cooked. She really was. She really was. I need you to figure out what you're going to do. Stay in or, or stay out. Sound like somebody's mom. Um, Richard says, don't think Lay is the best player. She is one of the, she has one of the most, she has the most potential. She has to work on turnovers, when to shoot, work on her D. She is the best at show stopping moves. Yep. I would agree with that. Joseph says HVL, so you go, should go to an HBCU. <sighs> Grambling needs a flute player. Cut it out. <laughs> cut it. Cut it out. RC says, Caitlin got to do everything, Jay. Uh, so what you really saying, though? You stopped Caitlin. You stopped the team. So what you saying, fam? What you mean? When? What did I say about, what did I say about Caitlin? I missed what I said. I think the last thing I said about Caitlin was a bunch of good stuff. Other than Raven locking her up, and she did. Um, Bree Wayne says the courage Raven was literally begging Don for the assignment. And after that 18 points, she had, uh, she had heck have her then. Oh, she said, heck have her then. Yeah. She, uh, Raven also said that in an interview, like she, she was like, I need to guard her. I, I have to guard her. Put me on her coach, put me on her and look what happened. Look what happened. Uh, Helen, 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 Helen of Troy says, I'm with you. <laughs> I didn't want that for Breezy. Plus, I didn't want us to lose. Lawrence says, RC, come to the bayou. Richard said they slowed Caitlin and stopped everyone else. 
I mean, if Sloan and Caitlin leads to that win, then they, they did what they needed to do. What happens next is that's what's so great about SC. LSU was not expecting Chloe Grit's kiss. <laughs> that's right. NC State was not expecting Watkins' 20 rebounds. UConn did not expect Pow Pow's five threes. And Clark did not expect Raven, the lock, or Tessa. That's right. I mean, anybody can get it on SC. Like, any anybody at any given time, which, which is what makes SC so dangerous. Anybody can get it. And you can't, you can scout all you want. But you can scout Camilla, but that don't mean Raven won't go off. You can scout Raven, but that don't mean Chloe won't go off. You can scout Chloe, that don't mean Fagan won't go off. We have, it's too much. It's too much in the chamber. So, I mean, I think this team has a long uh, road of wins ahead of them. Um, hopefully they can come back and, and run, it, run it back and do it again. Um, Bree Wayne says, didn't Iowa scout Tessa because they, they looked, they look confused. They didn't. I don't think they. I don't think they thought Tessa was going to do what Tessa did. <laughs> and let's be clear. Don did say they were scouting and making a plan for for Iowa before NC State. Like not to be like overconfident or anything like that. But they just in case they felt that they needed to do the work super super early. So they did the work super super early. And then you couple that with Raven, who's been literally studying Caitlin Clark since last year. Like you got a player who's been doing her own scout for a full 365 days. <laughs> you couple that with the scouting of those coaches. And I mean, they were just ready. Uh, I also said that's when CC pushed um, off Bree Hall, didn't get called for the foul. Then the shot, uh, the three over Camilla. Yeah. She pushed off a couple of times and didn't get called for the foul, but I think she does that pretty often, and they, they let that go. Lawrence says they don't want HBL nowhere near, near Louisiana. Bree Wayne says, man, our free throws were so bad. Miller missed four of them. Yeah. <sighs> she got to tighten up on those free throws, uh, period. Like um, Watkins, like we – that's one, one thing that we definitely need to work on as a team is getting those free throws together. Um, although we win, we've won every game. It could have been a lot um, bigger wins in some of those games where they were tight if we had connected on, on our free throws. Uh, Helen of Troy says she didn't just push off Breezy. She literally pushed her to the ground. That pissed me off so bad. Yeah, I mean, CC gets away with those pushes. Um, when was Walker in the game? Um, Walker was, was in the game for 20 seconds. I don't remember seeing her, but she was in the game. That's what the box score says. Uh, Lee says when the hurt girl on Iowa got in the game. Oh, she got in when Molly Molly Davis got in. I thought that was pretty nice because um, I believe she's a senior. She got hurt. <clears throat> she wasn't able to play, and they were able to let her get on the floor for a little bit. Um, and enjoy just being on the floor for her last time. I thought that was pretty dope of the coach. High Barbation says uh, Powell's three was falling that day too. Yep. Carl Stokes. Hey, Carl. Raven's shot was off due to her leg tweak from NC State game. I didn't think about that. And she was not using her legs as much and missed uh, right a lot. Which leg was hurt? Uh, <clears throat> That's right. She did have that hamstring thing. So that may be why she... Her shots were off. So I, that's a good point. I didn't even think about that. I'm not sure which leg it was. I want to say it was the right, but I could be wrong. <clears throat> Tamika says Chloe was on the ground a couple of times, but I think uh, she liked hitting the ground a little bit. Also, I'm not mad if Kiss doesn't start next year, but for that to happen, Fagan has a step up. Yeah. I think Dawn is going to continue to switch out. Um, it's going to be a who wants it more type of thing. Y'all, there's 133 people in here. I don't know how many likes I have, but I should be well over 100 by now. If you have not hit that thumbs up, please do. I would really appreciate it. It keeps me out there so other people can see me, and then we can have great conversations like this on Tuesday nights. 
Richard says it doesn't matter if they scouted Tessa when the team is spread out and gets hot, it's hard to stop. When you're worried about Cardoso, one of the shooters is going to be open. Yeah, because <clears throat> you can't ignore Cardoso. You, can, you, you can't ignore anybody. Like, you can double Cardoso. Those shooters are out there. Someone is going to attempt and probably make that shot more than, more than not. And then you can't leave Cardoso because that's just that's a bucket right there. Raven did that a couple of times, just passing to Cardoso. All she had to do was hold her hand up and put it in the net. So it's hard to guard them. Uh, Sherwood, welcome to the live. I hope Chloe don't leave. She's not going anywhere. No worries. Um, Kyra says, I don't know what all Quentin Hillsman did, but 11 players transferred in one season. Oh, I didn't know it was 11. I don't know it was 11. Okay. So why did they hire him at Ole Miss? <laughs> I'm confused by that because it seems as if Coach Yo is a really, really dope coach. She seems to kind of have that family kind of system um, there at Ole Miss. Like they kind of buy into her program and she's working on getting her team better. I don't know if she needs needs a problematic person there. So that's that's confusing. Lawrence says 18 game losing streak would be broken this year. I guarantee you that LSU for life. I got that spell off LSU when they play South Carolina. <laughs> we'll see if they can finally beat us. We'll see. I I'm I always look forward to LSU South Carolina games. I think it's like watching a finals. IL says I think uh that was less 30 seconds left in the game when Walker came in. Um, RC says, Jay, you think Seth will let me come to the show with you and her uh, for the first round picks? I just want to be on when Clark and Reese get picked and see the other picks too. It's possible. Yeah, hit her up. Hit her up. I think it will be dope if you if you come on and uh, join the virtual watch party. Those of you that missed that, next Monday – I will put it on my community tab. I will post it. If you're following Sess, she will also post this. But me and Sess and possibly RC, we're going to be live Monday to watch the WNBA draft. We're going to have a virtual watch party. Join us. Join me on my platform. Join Sess on her platform. We're going to be together on Sess's platform, but we're going to be broadcasting on both our platforms so come through, have a good time. Y'all know how we get down. Um, it's going to be so much fun. So the draft starts at 6.30 Central, 7.30 Eastern on ESPN, I believe, next on, on Monday, the 15th. So be there, be there. I want to see everyone in the comments, us having a, a dope time watching the draft. Um, Darnell says, remember, it's all about the intangibles with Ray. Floor general, run the floor, control the pace, get everyone involved, lock down defender, make the right play, high basketball, IQ, Rondo, CB3. I'm with it. I'm with it. RC says it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Remember, it doesn't matter if you're a fan of Vanderbilt or what is that? I ain't even going to try to just start a channel and start making the content. That is right. It does not matter. If you are passionate about whatever you're passionate about, you can start a channel and grow your base. And um, the most important thing is do it if you if you feel it. Do it. Um, <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. Bree Wayne says he was touching them inappropriately and cussing them out. I read the article. So if that man did that, why is he how, how why is he hired? That's that's problematic. That's problematic. So I don't I don't know what they thinking over there at Ole Miss. That's not cool at all. Sherwood says the courage. That's that she's a good player. Um, Mark says facts. South Carolina is always in every. <clears throat> it's always in every game they play. I don't recall them ever losing by double digits to another team. Kyra says, I just read it too vague, but I'd like to hear what else happened. Kyra, High Vibration says, can't wait to see how they play with Joyce added to the seatbelt game. Facts. 
Uh, Richard says Fagan did step up. Pretty sure Dawn thought about putting her in the starting lineup. Yeah, and she had some good starts this year. So, I mean, it's a toss-up. I mean, everyone is so talented. I'm, I'm sure the decisions that Dawn makes aren't easy. Nora says, speaking of freshmen, incoming freshman Joyce Edwards is outing all Gamecock rivals on notice, is putting all Gamecock rivals on notice. She is coming to hoop facts. That's going to be dope. Like when you just add another piece to that puzzle, I'm kind of scared of South Carolina. I don't know. We, we don't see, we're going to see what happens. If, if they started the off season where they didn't even think they would win any games when they, when they thought being, um, being rated at a number six was too high for them to start off that way, play the whole season undefeated and win a national championship. Can you imagine how they're going to be next year when they are kind of seasoned, a seasoned team that knows how to work together and play together now and knows how to get serious when they need to get serious. And then you add Joyce Edwards into it. I don't know. I don't know if the people are ready. Joseph says, mad respect to RC. Love you, brother. Carl Stokes says, what if nobody is talking about you? What does that make you? If nobody's talking about you, you're just doing your own thing, I guess. I, that doesn't make you anything, but if nobody's talking about you, <laughs> you might be the one that's talking about everybody else. <laughs> so maybe, maybe, not you, not you, Carl. I'm just saying you as the person. Um, I don't know what that makes. If nobody's talking about you, you're not being noticed. SC Bread says the transfer portal makes certain players selfish in their decisions to leave teams. Yeah, also, though, I feel like it allows them freedom and opportunity to, to look for a better opportunity if they're not getting it at that team. Now, it's a toss-up. Is the grass greener on the other side? That's a decision that you have to make and live with. Kind of like HVL. Like, she was not doing bad in Louisville as far as I, I know. But she saw, I don't know what went into her decision, but LSU was the reigning champs. And she probably thought, I can go over there. We're in contention. Um, I have a better, better opportunity to do whatever, whatever. And it just didn't work out. So, I mean, it's a toss-up when you do make those decisions. Lauren says, South Carolina put Mojo on LSU. That's why we can't beat them. But we break spell this year. We break... Uh, with Louisiana Magic from Creole, which talked. Don't be putting no voodoo on us. Keep keep that over there. Lee says, I went to a Sparks game and seen Diana get her ankles took. <laughs> Who shook her? Who shook her? I need to know. Dr. KJ says, I have five different teams, but I also have favorite players that play for teams I would never like. I hate the state of Iowa, but not the players. I rock with CC Stokey, and Marshall. Hateful place. I feel that. Hyperbation says Diana is hating on the upcoming freshmen for real. Kind of tired of DT though. Those older players need to go ahead and retire. They taking up roster spots. Um, DT is a troll. Always have been. That's just what she does. She's like, she's part of the welcome committee to the WNBA at this point. And I, I don't mind it because they're either going to sh show up or not. So she can talk all she wants. Um, if Caitlin comes in and drops 40 on her, she ain't going to have nothing to say. I don't know if that's going to happen, but DT can say what she wants. Um, I'm sure she gave everybody a hard time, but um, if you look at like, she gives people a hard time, but I don't, I think it's just all in just like, welcome to the WNBA. I don't think she really means that. She really did give a good, compliment to South Carolina when I was watching the Bird and Tarasi show when she was talking about Don Staley and how Don Staley recruits good people like Don Staley doesn't just recruit players that are gonna win necessarily she's recruiting good people and people that have a certain belief system and people that can work well with others and all that other stuff so that when they come when they become professionals they have the whole package it's not just this person can score points, but this person is also a great teammate 
and a great person. And she talked about how, like, that's why she loves a Asia so much and Alicia Gray and Aaliyah Boston. She see those players as, you know, just really, really good people that came from a really good program. And they're more than just, you know, good basketball players. So shout out to, to DT for, you know, shouting out Don in South Carolina for that. Christopher says, hello, hello. Thank you for the stream and allowing it to be subscriber free chat. Um, I follow Q. Um, who are the starts for South Carolina next year? <clears throat> Thank you, Christopher. Um, I think now I don't think Malaysia will start. Our, Don was talking about that in a, at an interview. I think she's going to have her wait a little bit. But I think it's going to be the same that we have now, um, give or take Chloe. But I think it'll be Raven, Pow Pow, obviously, um, Bree. Um, she might start Watkins and Chloe. Maybe switch out Fagan every once in a while. Um, but we, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I think it all depends on who shows up. And who 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 comes to play in this off season? Um, uh, I think that was Sequita. Sequita, you are good people. Just feel some type of way when you give another team their flowers, AK props. Yeah, you can't please everybody all the time. MMA lifestyle says 116 people and 106 likes. Great job, people. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. It's 130 people in here now, so we can match that. That would be dope. If you're just coming in, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. That would be awesome. Uh, Diana or Daryl Darnell says Diana Tarasi is way past her prime. She's holding up a roster spot for a young player that needs to be in the league. Alexis Morris, Destiny Henderson. I do agree. She's been in the league very long time. She's the oldest player in the W. Um, I mean, as long as she can play, I guess she, she can play, but um, I'm, I'm happy that they're getting this expansion next year. So that will help open up some more roster spots. And I wish that they would expand the current roster spots for the team. So more than just, what is it, 12 people that can be on the team if they can at least add two more spots. Um, but again, it's all about the money. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense right now. Um. What happens next is you really can't say pioneer. So generational is more appropriate. The logo three by Clark is different. What Fawali does is different. And because um, they are doing what no one else has done is generational. <clears throat> Facts. Um, RC says there's only one player I like more than Caitlin Clark and her name is Asia MF and Wilson. That is right. You, you see her back there. Y'all see her back there. Becky says she's going to be the goat of all goats one of these days. I can't wait to watch it happen. Tamika says stop at J-Spot or she could come in and play zero defense and not win rookie of the year and shoot poor percentage. I'm not wishing bad on her. I just don't think it's fair or warranted with the goat talk. Oh, I didn't say she was the goat. I don't think she's the goat. <laughs> I'm just saying it's possible she could do that as it pertains to um, just her having a good year. She has potential to do that. I don't know if she will or she won't. Like, I'm not expecting her to come in and dominate the W. What I, what I don't like about some of the talk that I'm hearing is that people that don't watch the W and don't know these players and haven't watched the, the WNBA are saying that Caitlin's coming in because she's a good college player they think she's going to come in and wash everybody because they don't know or they're not aware that the W is full of talented players, full of gold medalists, full of, full of champions, full of, of, of national college champions. Like she's not going up against a league of scrubs, but because they don't watch, they, they think the easy thing is, is to think that Caitlin is going to come in and wash everybody. I don't think that, um, I don't know if she'll get rookie of the year or MVP. I'm just saying the potential is there um, based off her college play, but we don't know. We have to see how the adjustment is. You know, only, only one person has done that. And that was Candace Parker is all I was saying. So we'll see if she, she could do that, but I, I don't know. I'm not saying that though, Tamika, I'm not saying that. 
Uh, Darnell says, I love that uh, Dom went with Tessa more in the game. Uh, the way how Tessa was playing, you couldn't tell her face by her face that it was the biggest game in her life so far. She just be playing pretty much. The freshman, Fawali and Tess, like both of them said, I just, I'm just playing. Like Don said it when, when, when you have a baby and you just throw the baby like in a, in water or do something like they don't know to be scared. They don't know to be scared of heights. They don't know to be scared of, you know, crossing the street or touching that stove or whatever, because they don't know. They don't have that experience. So when you have somebody like Tessa and Fawali, yeah, it's a big game, but they ain't never really been there. So what they don't know what the expectation is. All they know is my number was called. I'm about, I'm about to shoot the ball. My team trusts me. My team believes in me. My coach put me out here. I'm going to do what my coach wants me to do. And I don't really care if it's the title game or, or if, if it's game number three, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's the that's the good thing about them playing and I and I really loved seeing that because there was no fear there was no fear there was no hesitation there was nothing no stuttering no nothing when it came to test and and for Wally they she just they just came out there and balled uh Sam says lol the home home security brigade I'm I'm way behind I know <laughs> but um Nika Moore how do you say it? Mall and Raven Johnson were on Caitlin Clark, like roaches on a biscuit. Eee. Yeah. Lawrence says you play games and win championships. Facts. Um, Bree Wayne says my issue with coach Bluter is one didn't teach CC fundamental defense Two, She knows CC was a generational talent, but didn't recruit or use portal to surround her with enough talent to help win a chip. I think that's similar to what um, RC was saying. Tamika says CC is a great scorer, absolutely, but the goat, stop it. <laughs> Tamika says stop calling CC the goat. Bree Wayne says Bluter uh, fell CC. Um, <clears throat> Kyra says Stewie and Maya Moore won four natties. That's all I'm saying. Facts. Four natties. I don't, again, Never said she was the GOAT. Uh, Darnell says, I think Dom will move Tess more to the point guard role her junior year in Malaysia to the uh, shooting guard. Tessa can score from any way from the field. Uh, Malaysia might not might not have the midi, but Tessa does. Tessa is nice. Tessa has, like, she can drive the basket too. Like, don't. Like she shook a couple of people up um, on uh, when they played was it Indiana? Like she she's great. Christopher says CC grab a plate in a chair. She has earned a uh, earned a seat at the goat table of women college basketball. We get the privilege to discuss the greatest, in my opinion, hard to beat four MVPs, four championships. But that is just me. And like I said. Everyone has their perspective of what they think the GOAT is. Um, Richard says, I doubt if she can win MVP unless she has a year like she has in college and gets a lot of triple doubles unless she all of a sudden become a great undefender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just saying potential. I don't know if she's going to do that, y'all. Uh, Tamika says, all I know if the Sparks went to wash, want to wash off the stink of Derek Fisher, um, they should draft Rakia and Cardoso. I think that'll be a great tandem. Does anybody think this might be fair far fetched? Does anybody think Cardoso and Angel might end up on the same team? And what what would that look like? What do y'all think about Angel and Cardoso playing together? Helena Troy said the Chicago Sky has a number three pick. They would pick Rakia. Okay. MJ Lover, hey, J-Spot, checking in, running errands right now. Okay, thank you for coming through. I appreciate it. Darnell says the Mystics are smart. They will draft Angel. East and West Baltimore is pulling up to see Angel play. Uh, shit, I might fly home to see her <laughs> since I get a chance to see her at, at Coppin State. Is that where she went? She went to Coppin State? I didn't know that. Well said about CCJ. Thank you. 
people coming at me thinking I'm calling her the goat and I think she's going to dominate the W. I didn't, I didn't say that. I just think, I think she's, she's great. And I think she'll, she'll be good. We don't know yet. Paris Milan is in the house. I'm way behind, but what up fam? Uh, high vibration says the ladies did a wonderful job uh, commentating this game. Oh man. Chenea Gumake, Andrea Carter, L Duncan, and then they added Aaliyah Boston and Carolyn Peck. If ESPN does not give Drea, Chanae, and L Duncan some kind of show where they're on way more than just covering games, like they need their own show to cover women's basketball. I need that all the time. They already have Drea, Carolyn, and LaChina do the WNBA um, coverage. But they need they need to expand that as well. But for the college, if those three don't get their own show and have it all season long, ESPN is missing out. Helen says, I like Alexis Morris, but uh, she's not better than DT. Uh, you, your breath stink, man. <laughs> Welcome to the line. LSU fan here, but I love Breezy. Okay. Lawrence says, Steve, Stephen A. Smith don't like Louisiana and don't like Dallas. We don't want um, ass in Louisiana. I don't watch him much, but I did like what I saw what he said about South Carolina. High vibration says, what other game cost besides Aaliyah went, was there? At the game, Asia was there. Wait. Wait, wait, was, was Asia there? Maybe just Aaliyah. Because I would think Asia would have been somewhere around had they won. I know she was at the Final Four game. I don't know. If we're talking about the championship game, I'm not sure who else was there, other Gamecocks. RC says, I call my Hawkeyes at Utah Jazz back-to-back -back in the finals, two losses in a row to MJ and the Bulls. Wasn't the flu... Wasn't the flu game one of the games against uh, Utah Jazz that Michael Michael still killed them on? <laughs> Spoiled brat says, I got the feeling Angel doesn't want to go back to um, Maryland. You really? You think so? Um, Bree Wayne says, J Spot, uh, now put Raven's interview. She says she put Raven's interview. She said, get back, that get back a motherfucker. She did say that. She did say that um, on national TV. They had, I don't know if y'all saw that, just in case y'all didn't see that. I'm going to put it back up there. Finish tour is complete. How would you describe this moment? I mean, it's like, it's, I'm lost of words right now. I mean, that's what this team, what we went through. And I've been waiting for this game. I'm not going to even lie to y'all. I've been waiting on this game. I've been waiting for Kayla Clark because what she did to me, I mean, it hurt me. I just say, that get back. And then she tried to drop the mic and walk off, and the lady was like, no, no, no. <laughs> On national TV, Raven, come on now. Um, Tavin is funny. I don't know what to call you, your breath stink, man. What, do you have something else I can call you? That's a long, that's a long name. Oh, Raven is funny. Raven is very funny. Um, Paris wants to know, RC, how you holding up? Uh, feeling like a champ living, Don all over my loving Don all over my timeline that I feel the same way. 12 Brad, I can't believe she said that. Everybody's laughing. My girl Raven talks. Oh, this is when I showed the video. Uh, SC made this year look easy. They did. Paris says, did she really say that? She really did say that. And I just replayed it. Um, she finally letting that her go. Yeah. She said the revenge tour is over. Now it's the repeat tour. Um, I'm that's, I just, again, so happy for Raven. So happy for Raven. I didn't realize that last year hurt her the way it did. And, she, and it became where she became depressed. So to see her now happy jumping around her viral video was her stealing the ball a few times from, from Caitlin and causing her to turn over. Um, it's that's dope. I just really love that for her. Um, it is what it is. 
Kyra says, you got to walk away after that. I know she didn't let her walk away. She wanted to ask her more questions. <laughs> Swore Brad says she was saying that on live all night. <laughs> Judah said, what up family? Did Raven just say what I think she said? She definitely said what you thought she said. Country said Raven was lit. I'm glad they blanked out the motherfucking part. <laughs> they had to. It's, it's national TV. <laughs> they live. <laughs> Can't say that on TV. <laughs> Oh, I smile. They were talking big after the game as they should. I wish I could have saw some of those lives. I'm sure they're around somewhere. Somebody has it on. Um, somebody has it on uh, YouTube. Shoot that blanket blank. Right. <laughs> she learned it from the best. She definitely did. MJ said, this is just a lesson in how important, how, how much important mental toughness plays in college sports. Breezy has all the talent in the world, but doubts herself constantly. Yeah, that video, I didn't I didn't expect to hear that from Breezy saying that she didn't know she was going to be playing. Um, so, yeah, it definitely takes a toll on them. Um, your breath says, yeah, I won't be surprised if L.A. Uh, gets Cardoso. Paris says, that would be funny if Raven end up being in the same team as CC next year. <laughs> Whenever she goes, if they end up on the same team. Well, Aaliyah Boston and, and CeCe on the same team, and that's the team that, that beat them. But, but uh, Aaliyah is excited about it. Um, High Vibration says that would be funny if Camilla and Angel. Okay, Camilla and Angel end up on the same team. I would like to see it. I actually would like to see that um, just to see what it looks like. <laughs> As much as they battled, like they know each other's game, I think they would really be really good teammates. Um, a lot of um, high low, I think, would be be dope, and it would it would kind of force Angel to work on her mid her mid uh, mid range game and her outside shot and stuff like that. Because she probably won't be, of course, she won't be in the post that much if if she's playing with Cardoso like at the same time. But I think they would complement each other. Um, your breath says LA may get angel for sales. That's what a lot of people have been saying. Like, uh, you know, CC, yes, she gets, she is where the eyeballs are, but you know, there's other players like angel who also, um, people would love to have on her team just for the, the looks alone. Right. Just, just because she brings, she brings a fan base with her as well. So yeah, it might be a good look to, to have her in LA. Um, AC, AC, RC says the richer get richer, the poorer get poorer. Y'all going to beat some, someone else's ass next season. Won't be nowhere near a natty game next year. <laughs> Lawrence says, hold on. I got to look what, what you're saying. For the record, I like Quita's blog and tune in quite often. Just offer some constructive criticism. That's very fair and objective. When you win as much as South Carolina does, not everyone gives you your gives you your due. True. Darnell says, I'm not going to lie, but I only watch the fever, sparks, aces, liberty, and ATL dream to follow all SC former players. Yeah. I only I literally was only watching aces. I still have love for the sparks, so I would watch a couple of their games, but I definitely am going to expand that. Like I watched games that were on TV. If they were on, I would watch them. I would still watch Connecticut. I watch um, Chicago, I watch Dallas. Like I still watch these games that they were on TV, but the, the, the teams that I followed was mainly aces. Um, in which I will do the same thing this year, but I definitely plan on expanding that once I see where my girls are going. Um, Paris says the, re the revenge season is over. It's time for the repeat tour. Now I don't want to lose. I need another, I need a mother undefeated, another undefeated season. We all need the jewelry. And I thought it was cute that Raven gave her her piece of net to Aaliyah Boston. Um, they really care about that freshies, that freshie squad. Tamika said in a perfect draft, the Sparks can get Rikia and Cardoso. Yeah. Uh-oh. Lauren says Captain Will is an LSU hater. Uh-oh, y'all. I don't, I don't know a lot about Captain Will. <laughs> I don't want to call nobody a hater. High vibrations, that would be crazy if we go undefeated again next year. That would be bananas. People would be trying to come for our necks. Um, Darnell says, Captain Will is great, super biased, though, but very good. Captain Will is just all about Gamecocks. 
And you're going to have some like that. Not everyone is objective. Some people are just for their teams, and that's that's okay. RC says, I'm, I'm just glad my Caitlin doesn't have to see Gamecocks roster no more. Look who in the building. I'm way late. I'm 40 minutes late. I don't know if she's still in here. Sess is in the building. I got to give some hand claps for Sess. I don't, know, I don't know if she's still in here. But Sess is in the building. <laughs> thanks, for com- thanks for coming through. You missed Quita. Quita was in here. Quita was in here. We talked, we were trying to, we were talking about getting us all together. Um, Kyra says, do you drink Jay? Drink of choice. I do drink. It depends on how I'm feeling. Some days I'm a crown and coke girl. Most days I'm a mojito girl. Some days I like my margaritas. And when I want to just take it easy right now, I'm drinking me a, I don't know if y'all can see that. It's a dry cider, Austin East Ciders. Little light. It's alternative to beer because I don't like beer. But yes, I I like I like uh, I like me a libation every now and then. Lawrence says Sparks should take Rakia and Camilla. They will take Brink at two, I think. But I think Camilla is the better player. I I think so too. Um, High vibration says Captain Will is a Gamecocks channel. Of course, he is going to be biased towards them. Yep. Uh, Paris says, I don't watch the WNBA. I watch one game my whole life, <laughs> but I'm going to watch. Tamika said, I don't watch all of the W, but I do love my Sparks, my Aces in Indiana. Okay. Um, Paris says, Auntie in the building. Swell Brad said, I heard the WNBA be on mainstream TV more. Yeah, I think they were working out a deal, um, a TV deal, but I know when the new CBA comes around, that's going to that's gonna go up as well. Hey, y'all, 129 people. I don't know where my likes are, but I hope you're giving me the likes. And I'm on a quest to 500 subs. I don't know where I am on subs, but if you've been watching, you've been enjoying, and you want to partake in this every time we get on, hit that notification bell and hit that sub for me. That would be great. Um, Bree Wayne says, WNBA is boring to me. I only watch the finals highlights of Aces and Liberty. It's okay. Hopefully you give them another chance and, um, and, and, and you'll, you'll like some stuff, maybe with this new class. Richard says, I think Brink Cardoso Jackson are all deserving of the two spot. Neither one of neither one by themselves turns the team around, pick one that best fits the team facts. <clears throat> Lawrence says Lisa Leslie or Cheryl swoops is the goat. And I said, Lisa is my goat. Um, Lawrence says Cheryl Miller, Miller is a true goat. Cheryl's up there. Says, says, what up, what up, uh, what up to Paris? Tamika says, hey, Sess. Um, High Vibration says, CC Games will definitely be on TV. I don't know about anything else. Yeah. Indiana's definitely getting, uh, getting that, that uh, TV time. MJ Lover says, Raven is definitely one of my favorites, full of energy. Glad she didn't quit. Uh, we already lost Ja earlier in the season for um, for another year. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm glad Raven didn't quit. Judah says, make the right choice. Lauren says, Mulkey didn't want her flawed team to face Dawn and Kane Cox for the third loss in the same season. So she let HBL take the round. <laughs> you think she set that up so they wouldn't have to look, they wouldn't have to face South Carolina. <laughs> Come on. Well, they would have had to go against UConn had they, they beat, uh, had they beat Iowa. Paris says, for Wally all day. High Barbation says, if Dom was to fully unleash Lay, we would have the same numbers. She would have the same numbers as Hannah. Facts. Facts. I believe that. I believe that. Tamika says, I'm no Hannah fan, but until Lay gets her shot together, I'm, um, no, nah, I'm taking Lay. <laughs> and I'm not mad at that. I, I It's a toss up between me. Swell Brad says that that's not true. I'm not sure about what she's talking about. I probably missed it. Seth says she's taking for Wally. That makes sense. Uh, Christopher says CC grab a plate in the chair. Oh, 
Did I already read that? 12 Brad says, I love Hannah. She's a dog. Same. Derek says, what, what was a dumb? We ain't got no dumb questions over here, Derek. No dumb questions. Uh, Darnell says, listen, I love Lay, but I damn sure love Hannah also. And I'm an SC fan, by the way. I love, I love me some Hannah and for Wiley. I love both of them. Now, when they faced each other, I didn't know the potential that they had with each, with each other when they first played that, that first game. Um, I would love to see them match up again. I Hopefully they play again. I think they were talking about doing it again in Paris for this next year. I think I would like to see them as sophomores uh, go up against each other. Lauren says Hidalgo was more consistent, but in one year for Wally would be the best player in NCAA women's basketball. I don't doubt that. Richard says Cheryl Miller might be the GOAT of college. Didn't really play pro. Facts. Bree Wayne says Hidalgo hit the freshman wall at the worst possible time. Yeah, she was struggling a little bit um, near the end, um, but she was carrying a lot. She was carrying a lot for a freshman, I think. Um, so, I mean, I, I don't, uh, I won't be down on her too bad about that. Seth says the fever will have to leave Indiana if they don't take CC. Right. There's no way on, on earth that Indiana is not taking CC. Um, MMA lifestyle says if Hannah, I got Hannah. If you put Hannah over on SC, versus Malaysia SC would be even better. That is just, um, just my opinion. If Hannah went to South Carolina, I, I don't even think that, um, that amount of talent could get, it would could bust. I don't even, I don't even, they have too much talent as it is. I don't think you can add that type of talent <laughs> onto that team. It would just disintegrate. If Don let lay, shoot like CC, she'd be a Hawkeye. Don ain't let nobody uh, try out no half half uh, court shots unless the clock is running out. Right. She does put her in like always. It seems like always at the end of the quarters to, to get that last second shot off. But yeah, she's not doing that throughout the game. Um, Swell Brad says Hannah runs her team and defense is insane. That's true. Uh, what happens next says Caitlin could have went Oh, for 30 and still would not hurt her draft stock. Right. She could have fouled out within the first three minutes of the game and not play it at all. And she would still go number one. RC says, if Indiana doesn't dra draft Caitlin, I'm driving to Indiana and hollering at the governor, mayor. Hell, I'm screaming at a couple of Indiana McDonald managers if they don't draft my girl, Caitlin. Um, let's see. For Wiley, uh, as I say, milks, but Wiley just have to uh, just have to give up the flash. Um, I just think she needs to control, know when to be flashy and know when to pull it back a little bit. And I think she's improved over this season. I don't think she needs to give up the flash. She just needs to know when to turn it on. Um, Bree Wayne says, "Listen, y'all, we get Madison Booker versus Michaela Williams next year. Holy shit, can't wait." Their games look similar to me. I think, I think Michaela, I don't know if they're friends or they know each other. They went to the same high school, something, something about that connection that I, I think Michaela was talking about. I can't really remember, but that, yeah, that'd be, that'd be crazy. Tamika says, mm, I have a question. Does anyone know if Maddie McDaniel will be ready for the start of next season? Does anybody know that? Bring Wayne says Booker versus Malaysia. Holy shit, let's go. Richard says Juju over Hannah and for Wiley for the time being. Juju, they're great. All three of them are great. But yeah, I think uh, if we're looking at overall performance, I think Juju did great because um, she was also carrying her team. I didn't watch her as much as I watched Hannah. Um, I just think Hannah is a great two-way player. I think that goes that goes a long way. Spoiled Brett says Texas is about to be a problem, right? And Texas is going to be in the SCC, right? If I'm not mistaken, isn't Texas going to be there? So that means, and literally 
UT is down the road for me. Like it's probably 30 minutes away from where I live. Um, I might have to go to some UT games to see when they play, when they play some other SEC teams. I, I think I might have to give me some tickets. Um, Bree Wayne says we get in an away game, SC versus UCLA next year, Raven versus Kiki. That will be good. RC says, then I'm going in a fever arena and cussing out. He's still cussing people out. Coach staff out too. Like y'all going to pass up Caitlin. They, they will not. Did y'all see the GM, the way she was jumping for joy? She is not giving, she's not doing that. Where's the schedules for the WNBA? The schedules are out. You just have to go to each individual team. I don't know about the TV schedule. You might be able to Google WNBA TV schedule 2024. It might pop up and show it there. Seth says she already on all, she already on the all-star team. Come on, RC. You just looking for things to be happy about. Right. That's what I said. She's going to make the all-star team and she's probably going to go to the Olympics as well. Richard, I agree. Juju is the truth. Best freshman I've seen since Asia Wilson. Okay. I see Asia's name in the conversation. I can't hate that. Bree Wayne says Joyce Edwards versus Sarah Strong. Holy shit. Next season. Can't get here soon enough. Uh, Milk say at the end of the day, WNBA All-Star is about votes because that's um, because of that she's in. Sabrina was bare her rookie year. But because of voting, she was in. Oh, meaning she didn't have a good game. Um, RC says, thanks, Jay. You just told the whole chat my plans to get Tessa's jersey. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Robert says, Caitlin makes the all-star game if she scores seven points, three assists, and two rebounds. Right. She's already on the all-star roster. Spoiled Brad says, I want to see what Juju looks like with talent around her. I think that will change her game. Um... Deke. Deke says I bought the um, WNBA app. Yeah, I have the app too. And I'm, I'm about to, right after I pay this next cable bill or YouTube TV bill, I'm going to get the, um, I'm going to get the uh, league pass for the WNBA. I'm not going to get it now because no games are on. I'm not paying that extra money yet. <laughs> Um, high vibration says I usually get the WNBA app. All the games be on there. The app only $25 a year. Okay. There you go. Delta says Brink. I'm assuming Cameron Paris says y'all see, um, Angela Velez went to the portal. Finally. Yep. I talked about that at the top of the show. She is in the portal. Bree Wayne says also Georgia Amore about to break all the ankles in the sec. My heart. I can't wait. There's some exciting stuff coming up this next season. Uh, Kyra says 100%. High vibration says, what kind of team name is Boilermakers? Purdue could have come up with something better than that. It probably has something to do with what Purdue is known for. Um, at least they're not called the Blue Holes. That, that's uh, a new name that I found out about earlier <laughs> this year. <laughs> Lauren says, UConn cook Purdue like a $3 Bill, uh, spoil Brad says Tess is blocking Audie Crooks shot in high school. I saw a video was blocking Audie Crooks. Um, Kyra says, I don't want to talk about Bree, but yeah. Bree Wayne says SEC about to rule again. Texas, South Carolina, LSU, Kentucky, Ole Miss, and Vandy. Uh, spoil Brad, Brad says, I think Amor was struggling the SEC. She struggled playing against LSU. Uh, Bree Wayne says Amor cooked HBL though. I don't know if that's saying much because a lot of people was cooking HBL. <laughs> Amor is a, is slow afoot. That's the pr problematic in the SEC. That's what Lauren says. Swarbrack says, well, good thing HBL is gone. Bree Wayne says, and Big Foe did break Raven's ankle, so I know Amor would be okay. She might not be a star, but she'll be all right. Not everyone at SEC is fast. Big Foe got skills, too. Now, they didn't make it to the big game, but Big, big Foe Flage, she's – some of those moves she put on that last game, she's, she's, she's crazy. Um, Paris says, pick your poison that 
that's all we can do for SC, right? Lauren says, trust me, Amor is slow by SEC standards. High, high vibration says, I keep saying that during the game, I knew somebody was going to step up and have a big game, just didn't know who. Same. Um, Lawrence says when LSU plays South Carolina this year, LSU match up, match up with them pretty much. Joseph says Big Foe was also begging her coach to let her hold CC, but Monkey was like, I need this money. <laughs> Could y'all imagine? I wonder, I don't know if they would have won, but I think, well, I know for a fact that defense on, on CC would have been much better if it was Big Foe guarding her versus, uh, HBL. Um, but by the way, they are cool. HBL and CC are cool. I saw a video um, when they were talking about CC doing this move, and um, it was against Louisville. And I guess it was like last year sometime. And and HBL was like, you know, I texted her after the game. We were just talking. We were laughing about it because she wasn't even looking at us. Like they cut the camera to make it look like she was doing that to us. She was doing it to her shooting coach or somebody like that. So they talk. I wonder if they talked after that game. If HBL was like, girl, why you why you do me like that on national TV? Carl says, when you let CC dance in, wait, when you let CC dance in you is barbecue chicken time. And that's what happened to Bree and HBL. Raven stayed low and close. Yeah, I don't know if Bree got cooked as bad as HBL. But Raven definitely um, knew the assignment and was ready for the assignment <laughs> and completed the assignment. Uh, Kyra says, hard for a whole team to, to be cold. Facts. Next day, Air said, I'm an LSU fan, but congrats to South Carolina. Y'all were on a mission this year. But Big Foe and Morrow are waiting for you. Cardoso and Reese are gone. It's turn up time. Yeah, I can't wait to see uh, Flage and Morrow. Morrow is one of my... One of my, um, one of my faves. Um, Frico Beats is in the house. What's up, y'all? Uh, she is Bree Wayne, or Bree Wayne says the last time we beat LSU it was Lay and Bree Hall that went off, not even Cardoso. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Don's teams. Milk says Don's teams are always bad at free throws. The freshies were generally bad, aside from. Boston and Cook. Sometimes I wonder if they practice that. RC says the internet is undefeated, Jay. Someone made a wild meme talking about Georgia Amore keeps following Kenny Brooks from school to school because what? He put it on her. Oh my God. <laughs> Who says that? Wow, that's a bit much. Uh, Darnell says they made a daycare illustration of Don and the girls. I need to see that. I need to see that. Uh, Kyra says next day era, what's the T at LSU? Frico Beak said, you got a, you got 116 likes. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all appreciate that. Sport Brad says they say they have uh 200, they have like 200 free throws after practice that they all do. Seth says, run those likes up y'all. Kyra says 116. I see. Um, Bree Wayne says, yeah, they practice free throws with the big. So bad at it. Uh, Joseph says real talk when people, when will people give Don her props for being a great coach, but an even better person, class act woman? Facts. Um, Bree Wayne says our guard free throws are great. Facts. Lawrence says all let, all LSU fan on here let okay hold on all LSU you fan on here let know we coming back for our championship. Lawrence wants y'all to know that LSU is coming back for this championship, so we we better watch out. Timothy says South Carolina did good against Iowa. Duncan. Um, Kyra says, child, I read the article and I don't know what's going on with that hire. <laughs> it's weird. Now that, you, now that I have some of the information, it's weird. Helen of Troy says, did y'all see the first few minutes of the game when three Iowa players triple team Camilla, causing her to fall down? Yeah, I saw that. And no foul was called at all. Carl Stokes says, uh, Coach Joe has to leave to get a different program to get it going has to get a different program to get it going, okay? Tamika said he looks like he got a little pervert in him. <laughs> Why coach yo hire him? That's the question that we need answers to because I, that's, 
if that's true about him and 11, 11 players left because of that, why, why would he be coaching? Why would he be coaching women at all anymore? He shouldn't even be coaching, coaching period. Um, Spoiled Brat says CC was on Tessa, but he doesn't, uh, she doesn't know how to defend. So Tessa was able to go off. Yeah. CC was also trying to be on Raven, but she ended up switching off as well um, on her. So she ain't have the opportunity to sag on her. She wasn't, she, she switched off on her. See, SC Red said that the women's basketball transfer portal makes certain players selfish in the decision to leave their teams. I think I had read that already. Quentin Hillsman is accused by the Atlantic for bullying players and in, inappropriate in behavior. I don't, that just, I don't get why, how did he get hired? Kyra wants to know selfish. How? Timothy says South Carolina Gamecocks did good against Iowa. Go Gamecocks. Ray Wayne says to Mika, a little pervert is crazy. You, you either a pervert or you not. Holy hell, are you high? <laughs> Laura says, I think girl from Michigan is coming to visit LSU. Spoiled Brad said, people are saying Coach Joe wasn't the one who hired him. I mean, maybe she didn't hire him, but I mean, as a head coach, you not have, do you not have a, any say in who, who's on your staff? Like, if I knew that, I would not want that guy around my girls. Big Shotta, 16, LSU fan here. Congrats, Gamecocks, on your, on your championship. Looking forward to seeing you next season. Thank you so much, and welcome to the live. Breaking news. Okay, Bree Wayne, you be in here trolling. Is, is this for real? Breaking news, Tara. Tara has retired. Is that? I don't believe you. Um, Joseph says, Jay, do you think you and Seth could make a lock on women's sports channel? <clears throat> make a lock on sport? What do you mean? Us collaborating or what, what do you mean? Elaborate. Um, Bree Wayne says, Kiki to the portal, please come to South Carolina, girl. Well, Brad said the same thing. I said, girl, what, what you talking about, Bree Wayne? Kyra says she better tweet about that hire not being hers then like she does with everything else. I repeat, you're going to make me get on the Googler. Are you, wait a minute. Somebody just, Seth just, just texted me. How did that even open up? You're right. Tyre Vanderbilt, retire, breaking news from Bree Wayne. She wanted me to tell you why you're lying. <laughs> not you not you sending message is this for real hold on Tyra Tyra's retiring, just got the alert. You're right. It just popped up. Tyra Vanderbeer announces retirement after 38 seasons. See, Bree Wayne being here, she be trolling so much. I don't know when to believe her or not. <laughs> that is right. Breaking news. Let me see. There we go. Let me see if I can. <clears throat> we got breaking news, y'all. Breaking news. It says right here. Tara Vanderveer announces retirement after 38 seasons at Stanford. In 45 years as head coach at Idaho, Ohio State, and Stanford, Vanderveer assumed an NCAA record 1,216 victories, 
In 38 seasons at Stanford, she led the Cardinal to three NCAA championships, 1990, 1992, and 2001, and 14 Final Fours. She says, basketball is the greatest group project there is, and I'm so incredibly thankful for every person who has supported me and our teams throughout my coaching career. I've been spoiled to coach the best and brightest at one of the world's foremost institutions for nearly four decades. Coupled with my time at Ohio State and Idaho and as head coach of the United States national team, it has been an unforgettable ride. The joy for me was in the journey of each season, seeing a group of young women work hard for each other and form an unbreakable bond. Winning was a byproduct. I've loved the game of basketball since I was a little girl, and it's given me so much throughout my life. I hope I've been able to give at least a little bit back. Wow, y'all. Can't believe that. Well, congratulations to Coach. Round of applause for her. For all the work she's done. 40 years. 40. Forty years. Wow, wow. All right. Uh, I'm going through these. <clears throat> Richard says he doesn't think Kiki is going to the portal. All right, y'all. It's been three hours and thirty one minutes. Y'all make this so fun. Y'all make this time go by so fast. I never intend. I sometimes I get on here and I'm like, I'm just gonna be here in an hour. I don't know who's gonna show up. I don't know if anybody's going to show up, but y'all continue to show up and we have great conversation and we hang out and have a good time. I truly, truly appreciate it. I truly appreciate Seth for coming through. I appreciate Quita from coming through. Um, RC as always, we do need to all do something together. We will figure out what that is. Um, but thank y'all for all y'all comments. I'm still going through them, seeing if it's anything, um, that, uh, I need to bring up before we get out of here. Um, oh, I do want to say one thing before I go. Um, when I, I did a video on Angel going to the W and uh, <laughs> come on now. <laughs> I did um, a video on Angel and I was talking about her saying she was sexualized. I didn't mention in the video, I talked about people sexualizing her um, and saying that because she wears bikinis and stuff on her IG, but someone did point out, which I knew and I just didn't say it on the video. Someone made an AI porno of her and that's circulating around the internet. And that's what she meant by being sexualized when she was at her press conference, when she was, crying at the press conference and she had been um, harassed and all that other stuff. Someone did make that. Um, it is circulating around. So I did want to put that out there that I did know that it's not just about her dressing sexy on her IG, that somebody actually did something very, you know, disturbing um, by putting that out. They've done that to a lot of, a lot of girls. So um, I got the message. Uh, I see y'all still talking in here um man i can't believe uh coach tara is gone let me see let me see let me see what is this what does that mean i'm getting cooked why am i getting cooked what happened what y'all cooking me about what happened what happened what happened What? Jay gonna have to keep going unless someone call her. We, what? I need to leak my card to use Super Chat. Okay. I don't have Super Chat yet. I need to get to 500 first, y'all. I need to get to 500 first and then I might, they might grant me, um, they might be able to, they might grant me to be able to do that. I don't know what y'all were talking about in here. <laughs> I don't want to keep going. I'm ready to go to bed. I have to work in the morning. Thank y'all again. I do appreciate y'all for coming through. Y'all still in the chat. Y'all still talking. <laughs> y'all talking about me still going. 
Oh, y'all talking about the screenshot that I held up with uh, Cess. Um, all right, y'all. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Thank y'all for um, coming through. I'm not pissed off. I don't even know what y'all were talking about. <laughs> but I do need to go to bed. It is late. I do have to work in the morning. Okay. Thank y'all for hanging out. I appreciate y'all. I'll talk to y'all. See y'all Monday. Monday, Sess and I will be live on both of our platforms. And then I'll figure out if I'm going to go live on Tuesday. But I don't know what y'all are laughing at. I'm going to go back and look at these comments. And then um, we're going to have a conversation next time. Thank y'all. Talk to y'all later. Peace out.